offer on the mid show, I have the last 10 available today on this show. Okay, blue. We've all heard about it. A lot of us have never seen it. If you weren't watching on the Amber Weekend, you will not have seen them. I've got 10 available. They will go like that. So if you missed out on Amber Weekend, you thought, oh no, I didn't get the blue amber. Rarest colour of amber. We've got 10. I will do that at half past the hour. 25 minutes. All right, my lovelies, 25 minutes. So, I'm going to be honest. What is that? Never seen a tumble stone like that. Ever. Wow. What? What? What a great <laughs> stone. Jim, don't start making me giggle, you. She's giggling her little head off. What a great. I've got up now. I'm going to have to ask. This is last to stop, by the way. Jim. If somebody's new to jewellery making, mm -hmm. you look at something like that, would you set that into jewellery or would you keep it as a loose stone? I'd want to multi-buy and use one in jewellery. Yeah. Um, I had some shungite on a late show a couple of weeks ago. You had some what? Shungite. What? Rare Russian shungite. I'll tell you all about it in the break, my darling. Shungite? Shungite. And it came in a shape <sighs> not dissimilar to that. And I set it in a basket, which I hang next to the computer. So you could, with a, a shape like this, make a little basket to hold it and just sort of hang it uh, to just sort of appreciate its beauty. But w when you've got something that's that pretty from all the different angles... That's what I mean. I would, don't know if I'd want to hide any of it. I have uh, a little selection of gemstones next to my PC as well. And because you've got, like, three or four different scenes, you exactly. can just flick it over and be that's, inspired. That's, that's what I mean. So that... Oh, today's... Oh, I'm she's drunk. <laughs> There's 13... I'm not drunk, really. I'm just joking. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'd, I'd just keep... Personally, I'd just keep that loose. Yes. I, I, I would. I'd keep that in my collection. <laughs> Don't take this the wrong way. That's completely wrong. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry, Becky Love, but that's not right. It's just not right. It, it, I mean, uh, eight grams of gen genuine gemstone there. We've just been raving on the mid-show about how fantastic the, the Jasper is. Oh, my. But again, as, as we said, you know, having loose gemstones, especially when he's selling you jewellery, and like, like James just said, every, every viewpoint, every viewpoint is different. It is. It's lovely to be able to sort of have something like that. I think of them as landscapes. Yeah. You've got quite a moody landscape. You've got a desert landscape. You've got almost an Arctic landscape on one side. It's beautiful. It really is. And you could be inspired. You could use it as your inspiration stone as well. That so you could say, well, what am I going to be inspired by today? Well, let's go for desert themes. That is amazing. I can't take my eyes off that. Obviously, it's going to sell out. There's just no two ways about it. That is a giveaway, if you don't mind me saying it, £1.95. Absolute giveaway. Shocking. So, if you're wondering what the theme is today, rough and tumble. Rough and tumble. It's a nice phrase, isn't it? Rough and tumble. I like it, I do. So, we've got some lovely rough... Uh, I say rough, raw... Yeah, tumbles are like a large pebble stone size. So again, you're going to get great sized gemstones on a tumble uh, on a tumble day. You're going to get some real lovely variety. I mean, pink sapphire. Look at that. It's got, I love these because they've got they've got a lovely texture to them. They have. And one thing I would particularly like to do is on days like today is collect this more natural from yeah. the earth aspect of a gemstone. And then when we've got some rounds coming up or some mm -hmm. faceted gemstones yep. or the, the beautiful smooth polished nuggets that we sometimes get in the pink sapphire. Yeah. And then layer them all up together because you can great, really appreciate yeah, the yeah. differences. Absolutely. I mean, you could go brave today and you could go real contrast. Oh, that's very floral. It is, isn't it? Mm. So you could go real contrast, you could still go with the strand that everybody's messaging in and saying, can you please put them on pre-order? 
No, we're not allowed to. Sorry, not got enough to go around on these. ZMRU80 pink, glorious sapphire, huge sizes in those beautiful, textured, glistening pink sapphire. Could you believe we're getting this under 10? We had an under 10 pound day on the show yesterday, didn't we? We did, it was great. I'd... Tell you what, everybody's still going on about those Asher cuts. We had these Asher cuts. Wait, what? No, you haven't, you haven't heard the worst of it. Big size cushion shapes, perfect amethyst, perfect citrine, perfect praise light. Asher cut in a gift box, three of them, less than a tenner. They went poof like that. One Asher cut gemstone for £10, nope, got I three. would be delighted. Got three. Wow. Three. It was... We put them on pre-order. They were gone within minutes. So we had, to, we had to bring them to it. They'd sold out by the time we brought them to it. Gone. In a heartbeat. Seven ninety-five. We were there, weren't we, Adam? Seven ninety-five. It was extraordinary deal. Everybody's still talking about it. They are. Can I just check? I'm intrigued. Are they natural? In colour, no dye, no no heat, no nothing. Completely natural. Great. Now we had a garnet day on the show. Tuesday. Tuesday. Were you on? Yes. Oh, because we handed over, didn't we? We did. Yes. You were. She said yes. I'm, it's all. It's all coming back to me, <laughs> as Celine Dion would say. Um, not in that tune. What's the song? What's the tune to? It's all coming back to me. It's all coming back to me now. Yes. It's that one, isn't it? Is it? Yes. Yeah. That's it. Thanks. Anyway, um, we had a garnet day. Now, on our garnet day on the Late Show, we didn't have any mandarin garnet. We didn't. No, we didn't have any mandarin garnet on the Late Show. I'd have remembered. Because it's a lovely, spicy, warm, cinnamon-esque garnet. You just want a slice of apple pie with that, don't you? Ooh, it makes me think of marmalade as well. Yeah, oh yeah, nice thick-cut marmalade with whiskey in it. Oh, that sounds mm. amazing. I've never had marmalade with whiskey. Oh, my dad gets five distilled whiskey marmalades every Christmas. It's one of his stocking gifts. Aww. They're nice, aren't they, Leah? Yeah. Beautiful mandarin garnet. Now, there are garnets and then there are rarer garnets, such as your Ambange, your Demantoid, your Colour Change, your, your Savorite, your Specetine, and again, or Specetite, and your Mandarin as well is up there. These are your lesser known, lesser seen, beautiful, valuable, and I love it, love it, love it when we put them in the, in the rough or raw variety because they look superb. Now the good news is you are all checking out at 1595 very happy going yeah brilliant not stopping there we are not stopping there we are really oh you know what to do <laughs> then warp it in oh 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 gem gem is perplexed are that, you shocked at the price point, my love? I am incredibly you surprised. Might be. That's a very, very long strand. There's a lot of gemstones there, but and they're so beautiful. I'd it is like it. citrus meat spice. It's gorgeous. Mm. Let's have a measure, Rama. What's it saying? I've got 36. Typical Joe Mac. Why do we keep giving two centimetres away for free? Margin Why? for error. Under promise, over deliver. Absolutely. There you go. Not, I mean, tell you what, that is a full necklace there, isn't it? Full necklace. It's a, look at that. Oh, yeah, I mean, with that graduation, you could literally just restrand. Mm-hmm. Yes. Oh, hello, Anne. Anne in John and Groats. How are you, beautiful lady? I love our Late Show gang. She's like, very well, thank you. Anila's in as well. Ingrid. What a great... I love the name Ingrid. I went to school with an Ingrid. Did you go to school with an Ingrid? Mm. Was she nice? She was lovely. Well, that's good then. She's an well, accountant now. Actually, you still know her? Vaguely, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I don't speak to anybody I went to school with. I'm not friends with anybody I went to school with. Is that bad? No, not really. No. I was chatting to um, my next door neighbour's daughter the other day, saying that I've got a couple of friends that I've known since I was four. Yeah. And we're still really, really close. Yeah. Um, but there's lots of people that you kind of glide mm. past and you think, oh, hello. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do speak. To, you know, I speak to people if I see them. I'm just, I'm just not still. You know. 
Oh, yes. Right then. 6 95 Do keep checking those out because that is fantastic. Uh, right then. Rough and tumble. First of many rather spectacular star buyers on The Late Show this evening. Coming up for you next. That's an attractive face. Sorry. I j I'm so sorry that was not an attractive face. I don't know what that was then. <laughs> but I've just been told the price. I've just, I've just been told the price. What a... Firstly, don't worry about the price. Just look at the strand. Wow. Wow. I mean, ready to go. Ready to wear. Add your clothes. In fact, that would be me. I'd be adding a lovely... A uh, uh, nice size magnetic clasp to that, mm. and I would just wear it absolutely as it is. Multi gemstone. I mean, you clearly got. Let's just talk you through it. So at the back, we start with. Can you see at the top? Hang on, we turn that round. Look. So if I just go, let's see. Start with your amethyst. Go into your citrine. Go into your smoky quartz. Go into your rose quartz. Then back into your amethyst. Back into your citrine. Back into your smoky quartz at the bottom. Beautifully put. Do you know, I love that because I would, my, my, my non-creative jewellery making brain, with those, if I'd have been given those, this is what I love about jewellery maker, we're very creative in the way we strand these days. Mm. Now, if I'd have been given those in, like, let's say, a bead scoop or a parcel, I, my creativity would, be, would never have got me to make, remake that strand like that. I would never have put that together like that. Isn't it lovely to see it that way then and yeah. be inspired exactly, by how it Exactly, that's comes. what I mean. Yeah. I love the fact Gorgeous. the way that we're stranding these days. That just look, and I think that looks superb. I really do. I love the way the smoky quartz is at the center and then at the collarbone, either, either side. It's very well, um, very well stranded, isn't it? So that it matches so well. It's beautifully balanced. In fact, I thought one of our beaders had made it like that. No. Well, you, do you know, that's the first thing I thought when I picked this strand up. I thought that's got to be a design. I, I, I thought, great, the, beady, the budding beaders have actually made a design for us. Let me just prove that's on the strand with the tassels. Like that look. So it's, this is how it will come to you. Genius idea. Anything? So tassels, starting with your, and it's, as you can see there, look, if I hold that like that, perfectly stranded with your smoky quartz, your citrine, your amethyst, your rose quartz. Yeah. Not, you know, subtle sort of gra graduation of size as well. I'm just put that back on the bus because that looks so well when it's actually on the neckline. There you go, I'll show you again. I can see my mum wearing something like can that you? as well, and she's in her early 70s. You think she'd wear that? I'm sure she would. Well, Mother's Day, three weeks on Sunday. Have you made something for your mum? Jem? Not yet! Jem, it's three weeks on Sunday, my love. Maybe next week. Come on. She's like, I've been really... You have been here a lot lately, haven't you? <laughs> Every time I switch on, Jem's on jewellery maker. Oh, it's not that bad. No, that's a good thing. <laughs> Don't say not that bad. That's a good thing. <laughs> Don't people feel like that with me the last couple of days. It's not her again. <laughs> uh, 320 carats. Great strand. And it comes like that. It's brilliant. Big multi-gem design. Now, it's half a metre. I know, half a metre. Really? Uh, yes. Half a metre, Missy. Wow, that's absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm going to ask Jem, and I hate to put her on the spot like this, but I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. Now, Jem, honestly, what do you think price point for jewellery maker? For jewellery maker? Mm hmm Oh, gosh. Be honest. Maybe $24.95. There's so much on yep. there. It's drilled. They're all beautifully polished. Yep. They do have that gentle graduation. Mm -hmm. You've got a sizable amount of each of the gems. Yes, and half a metre. And there's half a metre of it. So $24, $22.95 maybe? And a squish. I think, I think that would be a... Gr I, I'm with you. I think that would be a mm. real steal at that price point. Now then, sit yourselves down. Prepare to be bamboozled. Because this price point for all of you, and you know, I, I, 
I'm just saying now, I don't have to encourage a single one of you to check out. I don't think I've ever seen you check out so quick on something. Andrew, uh, Anthony was first in Essex. He was the first one in. He wasn't hanging about. Are you ready? Price point, please, on this. I don't know how we do that. So approximately how many gems are there? Just just oh, approximately. No, 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 no. There's no approximation. I'll, I'll count them for you, love. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. The massive 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 30, 39. 39. So each one of those huge gemstones. How much each? 25p. So if you go through a museum and there's a gift shop at the end and you find some tumble stones that are not drilled, they can be, what, £2.50, £3? Yeah, well, they're going to be 25p, aren't they? They're not going to be 25p. No, let's be honest. And these are drilled and they're lovely. I just love the fact that you can recreate that necklace. 9 95 for that necklace. Beyond, okay, let's have a think. What would we, if we saw that in a jeweler's window, what would we all be prepared to pay for that, honestly? Genuine gemstones. Well, how much would you pay for that, Jim? With the sterling silver clasp oh, on yeah, the yeah, end. Yeah. Maybe £65 you'd expect to see that sort of label on. I'd, I'd have said £70, yes, yeah, so we're about yeah. the same. Yeah, so we're expecting about the same, about £65, mm. £70. Pounds. VHIM59, all genuine gemstones, massive carat weight. You know what happens when we do a deal like that? Everybody that bought one seems to be now thinking doubling up and going for two. Because be warned, that there is a warning with this strand. If you've bought it to make for somebody else, please do buy two, because when you get this home, you won't want to part with it. We've all done that, haven't we, Jo? Oh, my goodness gracious me, so very much. Yep. There's always that strand that you think, oh, well, I'll, I'll just push the boat out and I'll get that one. And you get it and it's so beautiful. You make something yep. and they either fly away or your friends literally steal them off your finger, which does happen. Oh, yeah. <sighs> and then you think, I wish I'd got the second, third, fourth, mm. fifth strand. Exactly. <laughs> I, had a, I had a beautiful uh, sterling silver daisy suite that I, I, I bought uh, and made. I had made it, put, it, put the little daisy on the chain. Um, you've seen them, the two-tone possibly, I loved it, on the stunning silver chain. I don't think I had it on my body for, I, well, I made it, put it on, and I drove around to my friends. Oh, I've got earrings, that'll match that bang. She had it off my neck. <laughs> I never saw it again. <laughs> I did it on literally it two happens. minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah, bless her. She's always, it's what she, Yvette always, oh, I like that. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you do. Yeah. Amethyst, citrine, rose quartz, huge, bold, smoky quartz as well. Wonderful. How lovely they're all the same family. Oh, oh yeah. So they're yeah. all going to vibrate together exactly. beautifully, aren't they? Exactly. It's like the Von Trapp family singers of gemstones. <laughs> Say that again, sorry. What are you laughing at? The Von Trapp family of gemstones. It just it tickled oh, me. Oh, that tickled it you, did it? tickled me. Oh, Thank you. Good. It's all right. Christopher Plummer. Oh, he was handsome in that film. <sighs> never seen it. Oh, have a word. <laughs> Can you have never seen Sorry. The Sound of Music? I have seen Mary Poppins lots, though. Does that help? The new one or the old one? The old one. You seen the new one? Not yet. Oh, it's brilliant. Was it good? Brilliant. Loved it. Do you not like it? Do you not like it? Oh, I loved it. I like it for what's his face out of Hamilton. Is it Lin Manuel Miranda? Love that man. Oh, Adam's singing the sound of, well, squealing the sound of music, in a way. <laughs> Was that so, Julie Andrews as well? Julie Andrews? The old, what, sound of music? Yeah. Yes, darling. Yes, okay. yes darling. <laughs> Maria. So, we have here huge tumbles of malachite. Now, usually we do say to hear it, Jory Maggie, you'll hear us say it all the time, and all my fellow guest presenters will be saying, and guest designers, sorry. Uh, now, we don't tell you how many you're going to get, it's just the carriage way to guarantee. Get five. Five malachite guaranteed, and they're going to be whoppers because of that carrot weight. The markings are fast, and I love it because in malachite you can actually see how malachite have formed. It's a bit like your Botswana agate with the way the lava has flowed over the, over the landscape and then finally formed. It's just fascinating. 
and these are most these are our James Bond tumbles of the evening they are beautifully dressed beautifully dressed and from Russia with love oh did you like that I love that actually that's one of my favorite Bond themes Matt, Monroe. Mean, Matt Monroe my goodness oh, me that was that beautiful man he makes me pull over into a lay-by he's the man that makes me pull over into a lay-by because if I hear his song come on the radio I have to stop I can't concentrate on driving mm. He's, I bet you've all got a singer that's a, that's a laid by follower over a person for you. Mine's Matt Monroe. So, obviously, we're talking huge sizes of malachite here. All natural. Huge carrot weight. If, I tell you what, should we, should we divide those by five? I know they're not all equal, in, but they're not far off. Let's just work out rough, rough sort of carrot weight. Sort of 39, 40, 39, 40 carats, something like that, roughly. 38.8, if we're going to be... Good. So let's go 39, let's go 39, because that's just rounder. So roughly 39 carats a piece of malachite. I mean, wow, that's a collector's treat. Now then, I'm just going to ask my producer, can we do, can we, can we do any, anything, or is it 49.95? Oh, my word. Would you like half? Price. Half price. Half price. Half price. Half price. Half price. Come on. If we just keep doing it, it's gonna. Woo! Woohoo! I can hear you at home literally going, woohoo! Do you know what I was going to say? We worked on it's about 38.8, 39 mm -hmm. average carat weight per yep. stone. When I normally buy malachite, it doesn't usually have that level of striation so nope, perfectly visible exactly. the color isn't quite as yep. vibrant in its differences and you don't always get those gorgeous fingerprints mm -hmm. and if i was buying a 38.8 carat example i would be looking to spend about 15 pounds on an individual piece easily so when that came up at less yep. than 10 pounds per piece i mm -hmm. was already really happy yeah it was already brilliant mm -hmm. but my goodness me 20 4.95. You not are you? Oh yeah. Ah oh, now the other the other day we did um, a very naughty little amber showcase, and um, we it went down so well on the late show. We've had so many people ask if we can do it again. We've begged, borrowed, and uh, had a little steal, and we're <laughs> going to give you a star buy of. Oh, okay. There are ten for the planet. Okay, there are ten. And it is, I think, well, most, I'd like to think those of us that have watched Jewelry Maker for long enough, we know that there are all sorts of colours. 256 variations of colour of amber. We tend to bring you, mm, we, we, our usual sort of four or five, three, four colours is we normally bring you, let's say, green, cognac, lemon, sometimes champagne, sometimes cherry. So historically over the years, we've, we've bought you about five of the 256 colors of Baltic Amber. There has always been this conversation in the industry about blue amber. And all of us over the years as, as presenters and guest designers have always talked about, it almost feels like the unicorn of amber that it doesn't actually exist, but it does. And when we had our Amber Weekend, we had one, I think it's our first ever blue Baltic Amber, to my knowledge. And we, sorry? There was two that weekend. Okay. One the Saturday, one the Sunday. Oh, okay, great. Okay, all right. I thought there was only one, but there's two apparently. And that's all we've had. This is beautiful and they're big. So we've been allowed to bring you the last 10 available. Okay. We have blue amber. Oh my word. God, that's just made my stomach flip over. That has actually just made my stomach flip over. Look at that, oh my word. That's astonishing. Oh. It's like a light show. Oh my word. Oh wow, look at that. Have you 
never seen anything like it. Oh my word. Oh, we've only got ten. Oh, could, do you know, isn't it weird how the effect of gemstones on you, that could actually make me cry. I feel you. Honestly? Yeah, no, I totally get that. Yeah, it is. It's magical. That could... Oh, man, that's just right... Wow. Would you, Can you see it in the studio here as well? I, oh, gosh, I'm actually, t I'm actually touching blue amber. I've actually got it in my hand. Do you know what a dream this is? It's like a gemstone. Oh, my. It's no... I just wanted to show you. It's not any, in any kind of special trick we're doing in our, in our recording box there. Oh... My word! You're gonna have to try and get me one, Becky. T X Z. Oh no, I better not add on. There's only ten. No, I won't do it. I'll wait and see if there's one left when I come. There won't be, obviously, but you never know. A free size. What we mean by that is we don't mean it's free. We mean it's it's going to be a different because every single one is genuine. Every single one is unique. Every single one will be slightly different. But I tell you what, I saw the whole number of the blue ambers when they were first here, and they are all very sizable. All very sizable indeed. TXZT97. We are way, way, way over allocated. So Corinna collected, Tracy, Helen, Alison collected. If you don't check out now, they will have gone. Tumbled blue amber. Rare blue, the rarest colour of amber on the planet. I'm going to have to say arguably, because we have to, just to be technically correct. Oh, my word. OK, have, oh, gosh, I feel like I'm actually... Dribbling. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> there is one left. There's one left, and it's a collector in Essex. It's Tracy in Kent. It's a collector in Greater London. It's Corinna in Lincolnshire as well. They've got, there's, I've got some people on the telephone to the call centre. There is one left, and that is it. Michelle in Surrey. Alan, guest designer Alan, I think, was in. Used to be our lovely guest designer. Um, you're all going after the last one. There is... Can anybody hear me? There's one left. Check out if you want it. Oh my, I'm desperate to see who gets this. Tumbled, that means huge. Rare, the rarest amber on the planet. Why, is, there, is, there, is it stuck? <laughs> Corinna, collector, Tracy, collector, Phil, Michelle, Alan. Alison has just... Oh no, it's gone, sold out. Sold out. Congratulations. Oh, my word. Now, what were you celebrating for, then? What were you celebrating for, then, Gem Hawks? Gem Hawks, turn around and look at me. Excuse me, turn around and look at me. I can't do it. Ah, Did you no. just get somebody to get you one? It's possible that lovely Lucy showed me the amber in the dressing room before we came to wear, and I might have um, arranged with somebody to kind of Lucy be at, at the ready. Lucy yeah but you were on Lucy the air. you were on Lucy air. Lucy don't you be hiding around there she's in big bad trouble you were on air so she was unable to um you know envy Time share, I'll lend it Envy. to you. <laughs> Time share, I might have to. Well done, darling. Well done, and well Thank done, everybody. You. Congratulations on becoming a real collector of rare gemstones with that purchase. Well done. Oh, look at that. I know, stop. Can we take it off, please? Oh. Can we? Come on. That's, 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 that's actually, that's torture. That's actually torture. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Sorry. Too gritty. Sorry. <laughs> no, good for I you, will darling. Share it no, with no you. I'm just I'm just em I'm green oh. with envy. But I know. Wow. I did say to you on Rough and Tumble Day, that means you're gonna get some sizable gemstones, didn't I? Ninety-six sensational carrot of <gasps> the biggest. The biggest chrome diopside. Again, from Russia. With love, I fly to you. Oh, man. Now, the, I'm going to tell you something. Every single chromed upside, genuine, natural, Russian, beautiful chromed upside on this strand is way beyond the average carrot weight. The average carrot weight, and we'll say the average. No, that's not, that's not the right, right way to describe it. If 
you can secure a 0 0.5 carat, that's half a carat of this gemstone. You are seriously into rare territory. Um, there is not a single gemstone on this strand that is half a carat. They're all way bigger. Way bigger than half a carat. I'm sorry, Adam, my director, has just said the most brilliant joke that we're not allowed to say on air, but it's absolutely genius. <laughs> uh, right then, I'm going to show you those on because it is my ultimate gemstone. That for me. Okay, it's a steal. It's what? I'm I genuinely can't cope with some of the prices on the show today. This is definitely a collector's strand. There's no two ways about it. Every single one of these, and that isn't even your buy price. I mean, get it now. Check it out now. For those of you, like me, who are absolutely massive fans of Chrome Dark Side, you're going to be bowled over by the price. I promise you, it's a genuine, ridiculous price point today. AJ CD25, be checking out now. You can check out mm. online, jewelrymaker.com, the Jewelrymaker app, which is free of charge to download. And the UK-based call centre... You know when you see something, you actually don't want to look at it? Yeah, I, I did wonder you, that you might be hiding just there. £29.95! I know. I know. It's, it's heart-meltingly good, but also slightly... Slightly... A little bit disconcerting. Yes! Wow! Chrome diopside. Now, we talk about chrome diopside, we talk about some gemstones that are becoming really, really difficult to source. Things like um, Sleeping Beauty Turquoise, Ethiopian Opal, Tanzanite... Um, Sarite, these are difficult gemstones to get hold of. Chrome diopside, because of the slight window of opportunity for mining, you're talking, the last few years, um, you're talking, it used to be an eight week window of opportunity. They're down to about five to six weeks if they're lucky at the minute in each year, and that's going to last the entire year and supply the whole planet because of those conditions. It's terribly difficult to get chrome diopside out of the ground. So when you see a strand like this, and this is what, I've got to be honest, this is what confuses me here at Jewelry Maker. Having said all of that, here's a question, and you'll probably understand where I'm coming from. Why then would we put that many on one strand of such a rare gemstone? <laughs> I never quite can understand this. I never can quite understand how we, how and how, and why we would do a strand with that much on there. I mean, it's brilliant. Oh, don't get me wrong, I'm, as a chromed upside absolute number one fan, it's a celebration, but it, it does, I, I do find it unusual. It is, and that is an immense strand. I Isn't have it? a strand of similarly sized pieces from Jewelry Maker, but I think it was an 18 centimetre strand, yeah. and I'm fairly sure it was around about the same kind of oh. uh, price tag. I put one into a plated metal ring yeah. and sold that for £45. That Not was surprising. just one. Not and it surprising. wasn't massively complicated. It was a relatively simple mm. design. It's not a gemstone that people know a huge amount mm. about. Yep. We're always talking about where it comes from yep. and the struggles and how much we love it. I mean, for me, it's, it's atomic. Oh, it's There's something just, elemental about it. Just incredible. So uh, go armed absolutely. with your information and your love of gemstones and people will want to talk to you about them. I definitely get your authenticity card on that. 25p only. Sweetheart, can you put that code down for me, please? How many got left? I've got a chance or not? Can you just... I, I've got a shopping list from the mid-show. Yeah, can you just add it to that? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Adam, see me in the break, please. Have you liked your kits, by the way, this evening? I've loved my kits, I thank you very much. I can tell you've loved much. your kits. Did you see this lady's jewellery this evening? It's absolutely fantastic. I've had such fun. You can tell. <laughs> I've really enjoyed it, mm. really enjoyed it. Have we? It's a late show L.E.P. on Whoppers of Chrysler Cola. You... I'm going to show you something. I am going to show you something. Yes, I am, right now. Because I've got the perfect strand to go with these. My today's must have at eight o'clock. 
Come on, come on. You've got to, you've got to agree with me on that. And the chrome diopside mm -hmm. from a moment ago. Those three together. Yep, I'll show you that really actually. Because you've got the perfect just, peacock then, haven't you? She just took them off me. Oh. Oh, no, she hasn't. Loose, I'm going to apologise. <laughs> I thought she'd, I thought she'd actually pilfered me chrome diopside I'm then. Fairly sure Lucy wasn't actually on that side of this studio. No, no, no. But... <laughs> I thought she'd come in and, and waft them off. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Do you know, I wouldn't have thought about adding those in, but you're quite right. Well, you've got the perfect combination of, of peacock tones, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah, they are lovely. The Neon Appetite with the Peridot and the Sky Blue Appetite is coming up in one hour and 15 minutes. Okay, my lovelies. So, a management authorised, that means we weren't allowed to do it. We weren't allowed to do it, but the management can. We are giving you Chrysocola discounted, goodness knows why, I can't even explain to you why, but, you know, we don't, we don't query when we get a discount on such an amazing, huge... And I, I've, got to, I've got to suggest that this has got to be the biggest carrot weight, biggest size Chrysocola strong we've got in the box. It's got to be. Can, Can we have a quick look? There can't be anything bigger than that. And it's Peruvian too. Uh-huh. As Chrysocola goes, that's one of my most favourite locations for this gemstone. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's exquisite. A swirling, glorious, bewilderingly beautiful patterns in that surface of those Chrysocola. Yeah, uh, there you go. We're not wrong. It is without question by far the largest single carat weight strand of chrysocolor that we do. Okay? Also, we are being allowed, goodness knows why, but we are being allowed to take this to the lowest ever price. Now, on such a collectible gemstone, that is one of those, because for me, when I realise how much I've saved on Jewelry Maker and I'm looking for a strand that I may not otherwise have been able to afford and then I put that, those savings towards that, this is the kind of strand I look for. Yes. This is it. We are going to give you a dense, in fact, I'm not going to tell you, but I will say it is, a, it is an absolutely gigantic saving. What do you think? £10 off? £20 off? £30 off? That's... What were you? Forty-five pounds saving. <laughs> Hello. Again, these. What do you think about that? That's cool. That's that really is cool. superb. When can we do these, young lady? Okay, we'll do those at eight thirty. All right, and if you throw in the neon appetite as well, wow, delicious, isn't it? I could see Daryl Hannah in those when she was a mermaid. Ooh, yeah, that was called Splash, was it? Splash, Splash. Yes, she's got the best hair. She does have the best mm, hair. Daryl apart Hannah. from uh, one of the ladies in Mark's workshop today. Oh, did you say? I saw her. Isn't she lovely? Oh my goodness! She's on the work. Me. I can't think of her name now. Sorry. Veronica. I Is want it Veronica? To say. Yeah. She's she was there yesterday Absolutely as well. Absolutely stunning. Amazing hair. hair. Beautiful. Yeah. Lovely ladies. And a lovely as well. bunch of ladies. All of them. Yeah, all of them. Yeah. So, um, Georgina, I don't blame you, my lovely. Georgina's multi buying. I won't say where from, just in case she doesn't want anybody to know. Georgina. You have just saved yourself a fortune, darling. Congratulations on your multi-buy of the biggest carat weight of Russian, uh, say Russian, sorry, Peruvian, Peruvian Chrysocola. Do you want one last look? Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah, who's going to say no? Me. Oh. No, I'm not going to say no. I want to see them. My brain was on the preceding question. Sorry. It's all right, my lovely. Aren't they planety? Planety. Planety. Is that a word? Probably not. I, don't, I think that's a gem word. Planety. <laughs> I like it though. I like it. I usually go for funky little planetoids. Yeah, I like, I like, I like that. Planetary. Yeah, that is definitely a word. Thank you, Adam. Now, how am I going to show these properly? Um, 
Do you know what I'm going to do? I've got an idea. If I put them onto here, Jen, would you mind awfully if I send them over to you to give them a little tidy up to do up to do up to do up to do up to do? Of course. Because I've got to take them out. Now, there's a lot of people, a lot of you, I happen to know, actually do create artwork with the uh, rough granules. It's a clever way to create artwork. It is, yes, and the, the, if you're not into that level of artisticness, they're brilliant in resin. You can sort of oh, swell no, that's them. Them. I hadn't thought of that. I'd not thought about putting that into resin. It'd be gorgeous. What a great idea. You could set, you know, like your mum in the 70s used to put jelly in the fridge on the wonk and she'd do traffic light colours. Oh, yes. So it set, like, in a bowl at a funny angle and then when that had set, put the next layer in. You could My do something didn't similar. Do that. She'd oh, just okay. put it in the, in the, in the rabbit mould. Why did we all have a rabbit jelly mould? We didn't. What was that about? <laughs> did you not have one? No, we just had a bowl. <laughs> no, an ra orange rabbit jelly mould. Oh, I'd like to... Did anybody else, a jewellery maker, have a rabbit jelly mould? It was bright orange. Do message in. <laughs> Six zero, I want to know if we're the only people. 60777, start your text with James Studio. Becky, if some of these come in, because we haven't spoken to anybody on the late show yet, have we? But it's quarter to seven. And also let us know if you think planety is a word. Yeah, planety, we don't think so, but, you know, it might be. <laughs> 140 carats of... Oh, I say, who's that? <laughs> now then, this is Dan in IT, I agree. Now, Dan in IT... You know, it's a bit... Because they sit up in IT. We don't... Anyway, every time Dan goes out, he's a lovely man. Every time he goes out the office, he walks past me and I go, Bye! <laughs> he always goes, Oh, bye! And then yesterday, the other day, he was in and he, I saw him around the corner thinking... He went like that, so I said to go, Oh, please tell me she's not in. And anyway, he saw me and as he went past, I went, Bye! <laughs> so he's just messaged him. I've just tuned in to say hello as I missed you when walking out this evening. Ha ha, Dan in IT. Bye! <laughs> That's hilarious. Dan... That is the that is the best message I've had on Jory Maker. That's funny that is. But it was like yes, it was like it, honestly when he was like, oh she's not there, is she? <laughs> <laughs> he obviously secretly likes it. <laughs> now you're in trouble, Dan. Oh, uh, anyway, so there you go. I'll make him all jump. Bye! <laughs> so Amazon like rough granules, great for your resin, as our lovely Gemma just said, oh your artwork. Can you create some beautiful artwork. Price point, please, darling. Good, isn't it? That is good. You could make your own little created druzy type things Go on, with ceruline. So if you had a bed of ceruline prepared and then you pushed those into it, it would look yeah. a little bit like a created druzy. You can yeah. make little cupcakes. I'll get where you're coming from. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll get where you're coming from. That's a nice idea as well if you've done this. I haven't seen ceruline for ages. I'd love to do this. Now, Victoria's just said, I've still got one. <laughs> Have you still got one? Have you? A bright orange rabbit jelly mould. A 1970s one. They were ice, because he, he had his little tail on his bottom as well, <laughs> in the jelly. <laughs> there was a little squiggle tail. You're missing out. You're missing out on not having a rabbit mould. Victor, I'm glad Victoria's got one. I love jelly. Do you like jelly? Oh, I love jelly. <gasps> <laughs> Do you know, I might go home and make a jelly tomorrow. I'm going to make it. Huh? Might not be sharing. Do you know what, Leah? I feel like I've done enough for you lately. I think you can make the jelly and bring it in, okay? There you go. Right then. Is it time? Start by. I said, didn't I? Rough and tumble, you're going to get texture, you're going to get raw, you're going to get wearability, you're going to get durability, you're going to, well, you get, sorry, you're going to get sizeability. This is a tumble. It ain't a nugget. Polished. Crazy lace. Agate. Humongous. Don't you think? 
Absolutely unbelievable. I'll tell you what I'd be putting with them. I know I've shown, keep showing the appetite, but uh, <whistles> huge, glorious petty dot. Okay. We've got, I'm going to show you these on. Can I? Do you mind? Look at this. I'm going to tell you, if you have a £10 note, you will be able to afford these and you will be given change from the Late Show. They fab. Look great with Mookite. Great. Um... Oh my word! You're going to get a lot of change out of £10. Three. 150 carats, crazy lace agate, it's superb if you like your earthy tones, if you like your moo kites, if you like your picture jasper, if you like your fancy jasper, you're going to love these. You really are, they're superb. Every single one of those is spectacular. Size isn't always everything, but I think sometimes... When you're looking for a big statement piece of jewellery, it's quite important. It is, and agate is so pretty in terms of not just its, its colourways, but also the, all those swirls and lines, well, all of the different it, markings. It's got personality. It it's really interesting. Has. Yeah, and crazy lace especially. Mm. Well, look at this. I'm just going to show you this one here. Look. Look at that. Look at that. I just love it. So, you are probably thinking, when I said under 10, well, it's got to be 9 95 because look at the sheer size of them. No. You might be then thinking, well, knowing Becky, she's a great producer, she'll take a pound off and we'll go 8 95 No, no, no. 5 95 Now, I went for lunch with Kleshner recently. I had a fantastic... Yes, we did. We went to a lovely restaurant in, in Henley and Arden. Henley and Arden. Had an amazing dinner. The puddings, do you know how much the puddings are? The desserts, eight pounds each. Now, I think that's a lot of money for a dessert, and it weren't all that, the dessert list, you know what I mean? I would, eight pounds for a dessert. Yeah, that's why the, 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 the <laughs> I love that with the price of that. It's like, look at me. All of these, all of these incredible 350, and it's a full length strand, it's a full 38 centimetre strand of those genuine, huge, beautiful, glorious, earthy, polished, crazy lace agate. And a, what, what, three, four spoonfuls for a dessert? <laughs> if you're lucky? Yep, true. You've got your purse. You've got your purse. Nikki, hi Zena, Jim, Leah, Becky, Lucy, and Adam, you've got the full. Should we give Nikki a round of... She's, she's including everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Nikki. She says, great show tonight. Oh, thanks. I'm watching while making a seed bead cookie pendant for my niece's drama group. Oh, She's... No, I bought a pug. Uh, not, a pu not a pug dog. No, no, don't get excited. Not, not the pug dog. A pug <laughs> charm, seed bead charm from Nikki. Brilliant. Because my friend, her dog is called Harley. She's got a pug and it had seven uh, puppies. So for my friend's birthday, I got her, I, I, um, I said to Nikki, do you do a pug? She went, yeah. And uh, I bought a pug charm off for Nikki. It's brilliant. Mine was a raccoon that Nikki did for me. Uh, she, isn't she clever? Amazing. And she does all the Christmas jumpers and everything. Thing. She's absolutely so talented fabulous. with seed beads. Thank you so very much. Talented. They're amazing. Can she do a what? A sloth. She could do a sloth, yeah, definitely. I'm sure that Nikki yeah, could, she do, could a do a sloth. You could do mm. a sloth, couldn't you, Nikki? She'd be like, yeah, easy peasy. <laughs> um, right then, um, just quickly, Victoria. There's two Victorias, actually. There's a Victoria somewhere, because she doesn't say where. But then there's Gems Amore. Uh, Patricia, evening, Diane, collect. You can eat. do be quick on that, 5.95, because they're not going to be around for long, are they? No. Right. Immediately after the break, we've got some nuggets of natural lapis lazuli going under five pounds. Then we've got a kit that Jem Hawks has had a field day with. And I do mean a What I love about Jem is when Jem gets her hands on a kit, she will be so creative and show you so many different ways to utilise that kit in such different varying pieces of jewellery. You'll love it. Hi everyone, Simon here, Head of Merchandising for Jewelry Maker. 
I'd like you to all join me and Hanny Stewart on Wednesday the 13th of March. I've got this amazing amethyst. Uh, we've negotiated an incredible deal for a thousand of these, one of the biggest deals that we've ever brought in. And I'm going to bring you an unbelievable price. So I'm going to give you on the day four prices, three of which I should have gone to, and the one I'm going to give you. And you will not believe the difference. Tell your friends and family, I want all 1,000 gone on the day. So come and join me and Hannah Stewart next Wednesday for an incredible deal. Hello, my lovelies. Evening. Evening all. Hello, darling. Mwah. Mwah. Kisses. Kissy, kissy, <laughs> kissy. Um, we've got gem hawks. We've got a kit. We've got little treats to go with the kit. Uh, but in the meantime, we are going to give you a star by. Ooh. That's mm -hmm. a lovely one. It's uh, mm. going under. It's not. Mm hmm. Mm. Mm. Natural, 
with that lovely, lovely shock of royal blue, it is go. I'm going to move that for one second. Only because Sorry, babe. No, no, no. I just don't want to confuse anybody. Those are absolutely natural. They are not heat treated. Now, often when we get a lapis that good, that blue, we would all probably reasonably guess that they were dyed. They're not. They are super. I've got to put those on. I think lapis comes into its own when it goes on the skin. I think so too. And mm -hmm. it's, it's all skin tones totally as well. Totally agree. That's got a real smart smattering of pyrite in it. It certainly has. And it is so highly polished. Isn't it? 90 carats minimum. Minimum, even. Minimum. 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 Yet we're going under a price point. I gave you a hint. I put the hand up with five finger. Well, four fingers and a thumb. It's going under five. EWKY03, you can check out now. Totally unisex. You have right got the giggles on you tonight, haven't you? I have you not are said knickers. a thing. Giggle knickers. That's a great name. It I is, isn't it? Giggle knickers. Make that into a bracelet yep. and wear that as my you can identity. Have that. Giggle knickers. Thank you. <laughs> Do you know what I found out the other day? Does anybody know this? I got told this by the new fella. I don't know if it's true. You know the vents, the air vents on your window? Now you know, come on everybody, you know the air vents on your window, you know the ones that you flick up? The air vents. Why are you I live in an old house, so... Oh, okay. No. <laughs> okay. Modern houses, they've got those air vents that you flick up, haven't they? Okay. Yeah? Do you know, no, but you know what, what about... built into the frame of them? In the frame of the thing, of at the, the top, there's right. like okay, a little yeah. thing, and you just either slide it or you clip it up like okay. that, and it lets the air come through. Apparently it's called a trickle vent. Oh, that's really, oh, really I don't know if it's true, but I like it. I suppose it's just a trickle flow of yeah, air. can you open the trickle mm. vent? <laughs> nice. I like that. Anyway, did you know that? The trickle vent. I thought, oh, I, oh, I like that. Anyway, I'm keeping it because I thought it was so cute. I don't care. I don't care if it's not true. The trickle vent. I don't know how I got onto that from Lapis Lazuli. I have no idea. But... <laughs> Oh, giggle knickers, that was it. <laughs> Trickle bed and giggle knickers. So, these are glorious. Now, if you get the kit, look what's in the kit. Beautiful. Yeah, perfect together. Mm -hmm. oh, I think so. They're great, aren't they? Those lapis under a fire. You think of all the history, you think of the complexity, the difficulty of getting to Afghanistan mm -hmm. to mine this gemstone. I mean, I love lapis. Would I go to Afghanistan to mine it? Would you ride a donkey for a day? Well, it's about, it's a, it's a, well, actually, it's a lot longer than that. It's about six weeks. Six weeks on donkey back? Yeah. Oh, my yeah. goodness. I mean, no, it's a seriously long, it's not a day. You're I'd... thinking of Blackpool on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was 20 minutes, love. Yeah. <laughs> 90 carats of no... What is it about riding a donkey on the beach? Well, what, why did we have to do that? <laughs> why is a donkey on the beach? I'd be really shy. Yeah. <laughs> Four pounds. It's like as well, I, I, I live by a Sutton Park where you went for a walk the other day, Leah. There's a donkey sanctuary. Is yeah. yeah. In Sutton Park. Oh, There's a donkey sanctuary. Well, I didn't know you were going to the Sutton Park. I don't know. Donkey sanctuary. Donkey sanctuary. Day out next week. Yeah. Hmm? Donkey sanctuary. There you go. 4 95 on the lapis lazuli. No dye, no treatment, no nothing. Just absolute full on gorgeous historic beauty. And that with the other strand in the kit is, mm. for me, heaven. Oh, do you mean with the old, uh... Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Hang on. <laughs> Adam's now singing I'm in heaven to me. There you go. How about those? Paradise. That is paradise. This is lovely, isn't it? Big, gorgeous, voluptuous drops. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to go to the kit. You can still check out the Lapis Lazuli for a giveaway for 90 pounds. Now, this is it. Now, speaking of unisex, these mm -hmm. bindings are cool. We don't get these they very are. often, do we? Well, the whole kit is actually totally suitable for any gender. Mm -hmm. I, I think in terms of the shapes uh, of, of the drops and of the jasper beads, yep. the colour of the findings and the colour of the wire, it, it's open to interpretation. It's fabulous. Non-gender specific. Non-gender specific. If we're going to be politically correct we have got the super cool findings you've got the ball head pins you've got the chain you've got toggles you've got shepherd hooks you've got crimps 
all in these black findings packs. You get two toggles, you get four crimp, five crimp, sorry, two pairs of shepherd hooks, which I'll just show you now, and the ball head pins. Okay, beautiful. And the chain. The chain is a half a meter. There you go, just trying to find. Half a meter, okay? Well, I went to the, uh, what was that? What's that? The, the arches, isn't it? Then we're going to give you the antique bronze. Look, that goes nice, actually. The antique bronze with the, with the pyrite. Antique mm. bronze wire. And we're going to give you 10 meters of 0.4 4 and 10 meters of the one mil. Mm -hmm. We haven't finished. Those, which everybody's gone bonkers for, are, me included. I cannot stop buying them. I'm addicted to these. These are your multicolour mixed Jasper Puffy Coins 10 mil. I picked up my order for the 16 mil ones the other day, so these would be ideal as spacers. How wonderful yeah. they work. Oh, they're amazing. And, and because they're, they're mixed, you, they yeah. all sort of blend together, don't they? Exactly. These are your 230 carats of these voluptuous 12 by 8 mil top drilled fabulous drops. That is a beautifully put together kit, I've got to say. It is, it's gorgeous. It I really love that. is. I'm on with you, Gem. Mm. Really nicely put together kit. What a treat. Now, what we do on the on uh, jewelry maker is oh wow, oh that's nice. Oh, I like that. Isn't that lovely, cute little flower, cute little wire flower. Um, yeah. So, this what we do for you is we give you a saving. Basically, we say congratulations for watching, and then we take the price down. It's bizarre, really, what we do. It's great. It's though. great though. Yeah, but it's quite bizarre. It's a bit like brie and grape in a sandwich. Yeah. Yes, yes, yeah. Wow. Okay, let me work out how many components I've got. Let me class the findings kit as one component, each of the wires. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So that means each of these items is about to be taken down to about three ninety nine each, including those two strands. Three ninety nine, including the uh, fourteen piece findings kit, including two a, a reel of wire for three ninety nine. That is outstanding. Philly boots. That is really fantastic. It really is. Phil Wands boots, my lovelies. Three ninety nine per strand of the pyrite of the of the multi multi colour jasper, and you're getting two reels of wire, and you're getting the fourteen piece. Not any findings pack, but the rarely seen black findings pack. You've had a really. You, I tell you what. So that's um, three necklaces, two bracelets, and two pairs of earrings. Uh, Is that right? I think so, yeah. Seven pieces of jewellery. Six, seven, yes. Love that neck. That's my favourite. That's my favourite. Yeah. It's my favourite thing I've made so far this mm -hmm. year. Oh, my. Oh, say that again. It's my favourite thing I've made so far this year. Wow, that's a big I statement. I wanted to put it on and not take it off, but then I thought, well, I might like put it down well, in the wrong place. Is that the beautiful necklace that I might have seen on Facebook of you modelling? Potentially. Modelling was a very loose word. No, it but wasn't. Yes, I did a, a, a very weird neck tilt so that you, you wouldn't did. get my it chin wasn't, in. It wasn't. It, it, <laughs> I, I, I did wonder. <laughs> um, anyway, so congratulations. We're going to take the pro We've took the price down to nineteen ninety-five. That means three ninety-nine each component in there. And we've classed the 14 pieces of findings as a single component. Okay. Um, now, Gem, out of those designs... Oh, can I just check how many of the kit do we have left? Okay, so we've got less than 50 available on the kit. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Do get yourself checking out as quickly as you can. It's an under £20 kit, which is brilliant. Out of all those fantastic designs, what were you thinking of teaching us? Have a tiny guess. The necklace? Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> I bet you had loads of people on your Facebook asking, didn't you? It might have been a yeah, bit it might of a hot have, topic. I it, yes. Yeah, I thought it might have been a hot topic. As soon as you post a picture like that on Facebook, people are going to want to know how to make it. Um, okay. Just before we start the demo, mm -hmm. who's it aimed at? What level of, guess, of uh, jewellery maker? Um, it would be handy if you've picked up pliers and a reel of wire before, but each of the specific segments I'm going to teach are achievable for beginner level, beginner Brilliant. to intermediate, I okay. would say. Great. It would be a bit more comfortable for somebody who's had a little bit more expense, uh, experience. But if somebody's adventurous but and if, thinks I'm yeah. going to have a go, they could. Have a go, yeah. Brilliant. The okay. wire is one of my favourite wires of all time. I love the pearl wire, yeah. I love our silver plated wires, but antique bronze wire, it has yeah. a, an extra sumptuousness yeah. to it. It's like working with velvet. I adore it. Great. Okay. Are we okay to go to the demo then, Becky Love? Okay, right, producer, she say yes. <laughs> 
Okay. okay, darling, over to you then, sweetheart. So there are two basic components to this necklace. There's the individual drops, which are all made in exactly the same way. Great. And what I did is I cut my segments of wire and had a little bit of uh, almost like a production line going on. And I made as, as many as I felt I would want to use. Because you get in the rhythm, don't you? You do get in yeah. the rhythm. And it's then left over, right, right over, left, if mm. you want to be symmetrical. I didn't in this instance, but you could if you wanted okay. to apply that level of symmetry. Uh, nice. I tend to go for odd numbers so that the lowest piece is a central single yep. piece. Got you. It's just very, very flattering on the neckline if you do that. You could do this with five pieces. I chose to do it with, I think, 13 in mm -hmm. the end. You could make the number of wires that create the zigzag bar that acts as the choker, you could increase that number, decrease, decrease. that number, yep. so entirely up to you. Lots of different yeah. options about how to work it. But I'm going to take you through the two basic techniques, which is to create the zigzag and to create one of these. Okay, fantastic. Over to you then, darling. We are all That's ears different. and eyes. Well, the first thing that we'll do is create the drops. Now, if you make too many or you get bored halfway through and you think, I wish I hadn't made quite so many, I'm going to do a smaller necklace, you can always use the drops by themselves uh, to, to make earrings or yeah, charms. It's, it's quite a nice little technique to learn. So I'm going to work with some of the one millimetre gauge wire and it's around about four to five inches or so that I've cut ready to utilise. My main tools today are going to be round nose flush cutters and some bail making pliers. Now at home I tend to work with the six and eight mil bail makers. Okay. Um, but you can use the ones that are odd on both sides. It's entirely up yep. to you. Okay. Uh, it just sort of tends to make the most comfortable. You can also use a marker pen if you really want to. Yep. So around about four to five inches of the one millimetre gauge wire. What I'm going to do is just pop that up out of the way. That's what we're looking to create, that little kind of drop outline shape and I'm going to take it to the largest setting on these particular pliers uh, which I think is around about a 10 mil and I'm just going to allow that to very very gently cross over and you can see I'm being super uh, supportive with the wire because I don't want to uh, damage it in any way but what I want to do is bring that around so that it fits perfectly now you can see especially if I take that off my hand and drop it onto the board that there's a little bit too much airspace there yep. so what I would do is just by hand I wouldn't even bother putting it back onto the bail makers just draw those across until it sits really nicely mm -hmm. in between now I would go to the 0.4 millimetre gauge wire and I've got again around about a 4 inch length of the 0.4 mil gauge. Mm -hmm. And now I've got my little form that I know fits my pyrite drop. I'm going to turn that sideways and just open it slightly so that it's easier for me to get a little bit of space going in between. So I'm going to take the centre of my 0.4 mil gauge and lay it over where I imagine the drill hole is going to sit when the drop fits inside the framework. So I'm just going to sit that over the centre, as I say, you've got equal amounts of 0.4 either side, and I'm just going to draw that around. Now the idea is that you spend a lot more time and you take the entirety of that tail so that it sits all the way around in like a gizmo coil. Okay. So I'm just going to tidy that up ever so quickly with some bent chain nose pliers and just draw that up but I'm not going to do the same thing over and over again. So if you imagine that we've taken that tail all the way up to the top section, I'm going to flip that on its head, pull in the pyrite drop and allow that to slide down and sit into position. And the reason that we have this little gap in the framework is just to make our life easy. So I'm going to allow that to sit in the exact position I'd like to see it in the final design. I'm going to support that fully with my non-dominant hand and then take the tail around the other side of that little uh, drop shaped framework and again you will want to take much more time to get this super neat and tidy. I've just done five wraps uh, just to show you how to kind of get that started yep. and also how to tidy it up if you need to. Mm. Now if that sits a bit loose and it's a bit too open you can just very gently move the pliers over the surface of that coil and what that will do is just tighten up the frame slightly. Mm -hmm. yep. So what, I'm, what I will do now in essence of speed is trim away those two end segments. Mm -hmm. But if you imagine that we took the time to completely fill all the way up to the top with our section of 0.4 mil gauge. Okay. Now the next section of what we're going to do is to create a crossover. And what I'd like to do is just draw 
either side, those two sections that are going off in opposite directions, slightly closer together. At the centre point, if you imagine a line coming from the very bottom of your drop up through the centre, I'm going to create a right angle that comes up at the 12 o'clock position. And on the other side, I'm going to support now the second section of wire. I'm going to draw that down so that it points to the 9 o'clock position. Now, at this point, if you want to create some which are left-handed and some which are right-handed, it would be worth just taking an extra moment just to think about this so that you can very definitely get them left-handed and right-handed. I chose to not be concerned about such things. Uh, and just sort of go randomly. But you can right over left or left over right, however you prefer to do that. Now, the next section is to create a tail, take the tail rather, and create a coil around the upright. If you support the design like mm. so, you're going to squash your beautiful gizmo coiling. So we're going to support the front wire and really hold that ever so tightly, push that nine o'clock wire back so that you get that first loop into position. Mm -hmm. Once you've got the first loop into position, you can manually draw the tail as many times as you desire. Now, the reason for having a four or to five inch section of one millimeter gauge wire is so that you've got enough. What I would do is perhaps leave them in my production line like this until I've got them all set out and then I can trim that. I can decide how many coils I want on display. So this is the front, so I'm going to cut that tail at the back. I've decided in this example to have two coils of wire. Okay. Now the next section that we're going to do is to just create a very basic wrapped loop coming at 90 degrees to the face of this design. So this is the face of the design. We want our front, this section of wire coming at the centre to come forwards. Okay. So I'm going to take my bent chain nose pliers into position and draw a right angle bend mm -hmm. in here. Okay, and then I'm going to use my round nose pliers to generate that wrapped loop at the top. So I'm just going to draw that around, little by little, and at this point I generally think, now which way is it going to be best for me to take the tail of this wire over the top or underneath? If I take this underneath, you'll see why it pays to take a moment to think. Switch to my flat nose pliers to just hold on to that loop we've just created. Draw that tail around and trim. And what you'll see, I just support that oh. so it doesn't ping into Zena's eyes, is you've got two cut ends coming together. And if you take just a moment, you can squish those so that they meet. And it gives you a really nice flush finish. And just to tidy that up, you could take a second to give that a little bit of a squeeze. And then in between. So you're wanting your loop to be 90 degrees to the face of the design. And that's how you make the drop section. So that's what we're looking to generate, and we sit that in with some point four, as we've just demonstrated. So that's okay. stage one. Brilliant. You can sit there and do as many of those as you want to do. If you overcreate, they'll always make nice little charms or earrings. Right. Before you go to the next stage, yes. Can we bring on the strand? Lovely. Do you want to do that back? Yep. Just because we've got these. Do you get all three, or is it individual? <laughs> okay. Yep, so we're just going to pop these in because if you got, and then we'll go back to, we'll go back to um, Gem's demo. It's not a problem, it's a lovely demo. Thank you. So we'll come back to you. But I just want to show you these because we're going to give you three different sizes of rounds in the multicolour Jasper. I am addicted to buying these. There's no <laughs> two ways about it. They are gorgeous. They're they really are, lovely. honestly, in the flesh, they're even better mm -hmm. if that were possible. They are fabulous. If you keep seeing them occasionally and you're thinking, actually, do I, don't I, should I? I'm not sure. Trust me. Trust me. It's one of them. You'll love them. <laughs> I'm, I'm that confident you will love them. 30-day money-back guarantee. You will not need it, but it's there should you wish to. It looks great in the different sizes that we've done. This mm -hmm. is the uh, coins that we had in the kit. If you couldn't stretch the kit, we're going to give you the chance to get the multicolour Jasper in the 8 mil rounds for less than a tenner. That's Honestly. fantastic. Have you got any of these? I, yeah, of course I have. <laughs> Oh, no, what did you think when you got them out of the packaging? Do you know what? When I first heard about them, I, I was like, mm, not quite sure what these mm. are going to be like. When yep. I got them out of the pack, I was absolutely delighted. You will be able to find pairs if you want to make earrings. Yep. But they're each so unique and individual. You can they're really ice. play to their, yep. their characters, their yep. qualities. Yep. And they're beautiful. I love them, honestly. The <laughs> colours, the mosaic effect on them, the mm -hmm. colours. I mean, just look at that one there. Just, just that one. Look at all the colours, look at the variation of the design as well. Look at all the bottom, there's like a cerise pink, the silver, there's grey, there's like a beige. That looks like a... Is that me or does that look, look, look like a duck? <laughs> it does look like a duck, doesn't it? It's got Donald Duck in that one. Bright green, blue, 
grey, black. There once was an ugly duckling with feathers all stubby and brown. This is weird. This, this is weird. This is, can I, t can I tell it, let you into a little secret and you can tell me whether you think this is weird? I'm letting you into a bedroom secret here. Don't know whether I should. The other night, me and the new boyfriend, we're listening to music before we go to sleep. Do you know what we ended up listening to? Danny Kaye, Hans Christian Andersen, Tubby the Tuber and the Ugly Duckling. Oh, that's <laughs> adorable. That is adorable. Thumbelina, thumber. <laughs> we had a right little reminisce of Hans Christian Andersen and Danny Kaye. I love Hans Christian Andersen. <laughs> Absolutely <laughs> wonderful storyteller. Wasn't he brilliant? Must go to Copenhagen. Oh. Oh, yeah. Wonderful, wonderful Copenhagen. <laughs> See, now, I've not been, and I didn't get very much from my nan when she passed, but oh. what I do have is two little mermaids on rocks, oh, which she got when she went to really? Copenhagen. I'd yes. love to go to Copenhagen. Shall we go? Adam's got... I'd love to. Yeah, Adam's been. Anyway, I'm so, the food's amazing, is it? Oh, well, that's awesome then. Um, right, <laughs> sorry, I'm just going to move on. Uh, back to the demo, if that's okay. okay. So the next section is we're going to do uh, a zigzaggy weave to right. create the collar section. Okay. Uh, but I'm also going to show you how to create the loops from which you can hang your Great. designs. Okay. Now, you can either create the loop as you go and put your design as you make it onto the loop. Yeah. If you take a look, the wrapped loop at the top is... Uh, formed onto the loop that we made in the necklace as you go. Oh, I see. If you decide that that's not for you, that's too much pressure to have everything going on in, in one go, what you can do is just use a jump ring and you can make your jump rings very, very quickly and easily using your bail makers from the I've sumptuous amount of wire that we've okay. got in this kit. Okay. So, oh, we've got you plenty. Lovely. Right in Brilliant. Home. So, I've got a couple of sections of one millimetre gauge wire, which I'm going to utilise to uh, just demonstrate how to bring the zigzag weave together. Uh, but what I'm going to do is just show you very, very quickly how to generate this loopy section. Now, what I did is I used an extended length of wire to create the loops so that I could use the looped segment, in this case, a foreshortened amount, so that you can see the demonstration coming together more quickly mm -hmm. but I used an extended length of the uh, one millimeter gauge antique bronze color mm -hmm. wire because I didn't know how much I wanted to generate so I've got my bail makers here okay. and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start close to one end but not at the end mm -hmm. I'm going to use in this instance the six millimeter but I think these are done on a slightly larger one and all it is is a case of twisting that around until you get the wire crossing over at the base okay. and it continues travelling in a straight line. So if you imagine you're driving along the road, you do a quick turn around the roundabout but you get off at the junction you would have gone on if you'd gone okay. straight on. I don't know why I used that analogy. That was no, that I'm worked, really sorry. No, I think that worked. <laughs> so there is a direction in which this wire is travelling and what I tend to do is if I take the loop over the top in one direction I continue to do that so you'll see here my tail of wire is going to pass underneath the rest of the design and then it's going to continue on on its way so I'll pop that back into position okay. take the pliers out twist the wire around and then draw the tail onwards so that we're always got the same look mm -hmm. it's always shouldered you can alternate one one way one the other one one way one the other way because what tends to happen is you get a stepped effect if you're always going on along the same direction mm. but for me i liked how that looked to always have the yep. same kind like of direction that. so it's entirely up to you and all you would do once you've got your full length you just take the time to make sure that that's nice and straight and just pull it into position yep. so that you lose that stepping effect. Mm -hmm. So I've got my length of loops, as it were. Mm -hmm. At 90 degrees to my loops, I've turned a very tiny little, utilising the uh, round nose pliers, just a very tiny little loop on the end. And okay. as long as it's 90 degrees, it doesn't matter which side that fits on. Well, so I'll that's ask a one. question. I'm sorry to interrupt. Not at all. What, just so that I understand, because if I was mm -hmm. watching that, I was new. I wouldn't understand. Why has it got to be 90 degrees? Because what we're going to do is link all of those pieces together 
yeah. by utilising that 90 degree loop on the oh, end of the wires. Gotcha. So Great. they're always at 90 degrees okay. and then you can just tie them in a knot at the end. Okay. So I'm just going to pop Thank this you, back sweetheart. on. Just just not at all. With me, you know, when you're reading to me, you think, why? Well, I just need to get what... I will get it. to it, got I got promise. It. Sorry, darling. I'm just thinking, <laughs> why is it, in why the is slightest. it going to be 90 degrees? Now I know. So I've got uh, a bunch of wires that are all the same length, loop to loop. So it's based on the where the loops sit, their end length is mm -hmm. so i would do a loop at one end measure the wire out and then turn a loop back and i've got a spare section of wire just to show you how to turn that loop uh, just in case that's something that you you're not overly familiar with okay. so round nose pliers quite close to the tip of my round nose pliers i'm just going to support the pliers as they come into position and i'm just going to turn that loop over on the end so on the straight pieces of wire it doesn't matter if it's 90 degrees because you've got no there's yeah. no point of reference, but it must be at 90 degrees to your big loop section. So I'm just going to take this out of the way so I don't confuse myself. And then I'm going to show you this zigzag weave where we okay. start bringing everything together. Now this uses quite a lot of your 0.4 millimeter gauge antique bronze wire. And what I tend to do is unspool around about 12 to 15 inches of wire to begin with, because it means that I can get used to the rhythm of the weave before I start having to worry about getting things really, really straight and work from the reel. So I'm going to choose what's going to become my second lowest in the design. Now that will become apparent, it doesn't really matter at the moment, but I'm just going to draw around twice on just that section. Okay, and I'm going to leave that tail dangling over so that uh, I can just use that to sort of, as I say, whilst you're getting used to the, the rhythm of the weave. So I've got my section into position, and if you need to sort of think about your loop, it's coming towards me at this point. So the next thing I'm going to do is draw the tail of wire that's still connected to my spool, and I'm going to add in my second looped wire, mm -hmm. so my loops are still facing upwards to me, and just trying to keep these relatively straight, Yep. I'm going to wind around both my first and my second wires twice mm -hmm. and I'm going to draw that wire up at the back, okay? What I'm going to do is just draw your attention to the gaps in between my two one millimeter gauge wires. We don't want that too tense. So I'm going to add in my third section of wire and I'm going to draw that down over the top one and the middle one. At this point, your wires might be a little bit feisty, so you can, if you like, just bend those ends out very, very gently. Mm -hmm. And I'm drawing it round so that the wire is going to come over the top one and yep. the middle one. Okay. Once and twice. Scooch the wires up so that they're neat and tidy. Add in my last bare wire. As I say, you can add in as many of these as you like. It works in exactly the same way. Wire comes up the back. When it comes down the front, I'm just going to wrap twice around the top two wires. The next thing I'm going to do is take the tail of wire that's coming up the back as it stands and draw that between the top wire and the next one down so that we're starting now on our downward mountain slope up between the top one and the second one. So if you imagine one, two, three, four, up between one and two, over the top of two and three, down between three and four, give that a bit of a scooch. So now I'm going to take the tail of the wire up between two and three here. And while you're doing this, it all becomes a little bit more apparent. So up the back between two and three. So every time on the face of it, apart from where we anchor on, we're always winding twice around two wires. And then like a musical stave, we're going up to the next two lines, wrapping just twice around those on the face. It looks totally different on the back. Yep. <laughs> it looks a bit wonky on the back. It's like three and one, three and one. But on the front, you've got this lovely kind of cascade, like a mountain. When you are ready to add in your looped section, you need to make sure that you do it with the end loop pointing in the same direction as the wires that you're working with. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to scooch that along to the far end so that it's close to the edge. I'm going to add in my looped section and this is tricky to hold and demonstrate, not tricky to do. So I'm going to take that wire up between number three and number four mm -hmm. and draw that up the middle there. 
pull yep. it through. And what I'm going to do now is wrap between wire number four yep. and the looped wire. And I'm going to do that twice. So we're almost extending our mountain range wrap. Okay. And then all you would do is continue doing exactly the same thing all the way along. Okay. When you get to the far end, you wrap the same number of times around your, what is now number four wire, as you did at the beginning. Now, if you like to, you can extend that to make it a bit more decorative, or because we've left this tail, you can extend the design out further. But when you're getting started, it kind of pays just to have that tail so that you can decide to do something different later if you wish okay, to. Yep. So all you do is continue along, and because we've taken pains to make sure that we're not weaving too tightly, yeah. You can moderate how steep the sides of the mountains on the zigzag design are so that they fit with how far apart your loops oh, that's are. that's clever. If you wrap too tightly, you will deform the one yeah. millimetre gauge. It will go wiggly wobbly. That's actually not a word. I meant wibbly wobbly. Very sorry. Um, but you can take a moment to uh, just sort of scooch that either closer together or... Mm -hmm further apart just so that you get the frequency yeah, and it sits nicely so when you're looking at the piece now you can see that above where each of the loops exists is the mountain peak as yep. it were and, and I, all i did was just to kind of separate them out slightly to make Absolutely. them form exactly what i wanted it to mm -hmm. so that's the benefit you can see really nicely on that white bust that there is a lot of space between each of those wires. Yeah. But by the time you've woven the full length that you want to achieve, it will start to behave almost like memory wire mm. because there's the strength in numbers when it comes oh, to okay. weaving wires together. Um, and that almost formed itself. Mm -hmm. That was really cool. Really and then good. how do you finish off at the back? At the side. Shall I flip that around yeah, or shall I bring it to four? Yeah, whatever. Whatever you think. Well, what I've done is I've taken a scrap section of about four inches of wire, popped it upright through the loops that we created, yeah. and then did a, quite a square variation of a wrapped loop. So I made a triangle, mm -hmm. and then exactly the same way as we did at the top of the demonstration with the pyrite in the framework, mm. created a wrapped loop to which you can add chain. Okay. So that's, it really, really simplifies bringing all those wires together. Because sometimes we're a little bit afraid of, well, there's so many wires, what am I going to do, do with them? What do I do? Yeah. Turn the ends over, shot. put a bar through it. Yeah. Good Absolutely. to go. Absolutely. OK. All right. Thank you, sweetheart. Brilliant, Jim. <laughs> Cheers. I know that was a bit long for a late show, but I hope you enjoyed it. It's OK. <laughs> we'll have to rust through a few little treats for you now, but it was worth it to have the demo. <laughs> Simple as that. So we have popped these on the screen. I'm just going to show them to you. Mm -hmm. We have the six mil in the multi, multi, multi colour, we've gone for an American spelling, on these abstract wood word actually, abstract jasper, now we, as I said we had the larger, we had the, uh, the coins in the, uh, in the kit as well. We also have the four mil, those are 6 95 I got the four mil as well, so we did the, it was eight mil earlier wasn't it? I think so yeah, yeah. I'm sure we started with the eight. So we had the eight, mm -hmm. we got the six, got the four. Do you know what? I didn't even notice that these were called abstract. That is a lovely way to describe them. It is, quite, it is them. a great way. We mm. haven't we decided not to call them all abstract because that would be abstract. But uh, yeah, multicolour, mix this time. That'd be too easy, wouldn't it, if we called them all aspect, but uh, abstract even, aspect even. Um, now also, the... In fact, we'll get the price on and then I'm going to have to nip over to the other side and, um, in fact, Leah, I, I won't move. Could you move, darling? I'm going to move you as a chessboard piece. Could you get my three amazing today's must-have? We've had a lot of messages on this. People saying, please, will you put them on pre-order? We can't. Sorry. Thank you, darling. OK, firstly, I want to show you. There you go, look. Beautiful, gorgeous, neon uh, um, appetite. Then we've got the sky blue. And then we've got the eye pop in peridot. Every single one of those strands work brilliantly. They do. Five ninety five for the four mil on their own. All right, my lovelies, you will absolutely. Love. I'll just show you those on their own, so I don't confuse anybody. Those are your four mil. They're brilliant, fantastic, really comfortable to wear on. They're nice. really comfortable because you've got all those different colours popping. Mm -hmm. They're going to be super visible. Yeah, they're superb. Absolutely superb. Yeah, lovely. Uh, right then, my lovelies, is it what I think it is? Mmm. Your favourite colour is going to go perfectly with your top. It's a delish star by.
Hello, my lovelies. We are about to bring you Star Bite. Not one, not two, but three. We starting with the big bad boys. Tiger's Eye. In my guest designer's favourite colour. Purple. That was Jim, by the way. They are sensational. Stunning. These are your 10 mil, I've got them in 8 mil and 6 mil, and each strand is going under a certain price point. Would you wear these Gem Hawks? Uh, absolutely. When these were launched, I bought all of the sizes. Did you? I stranded them with some AB Swarovski bicones. Okay. And they sold in about three minutes. Really? Yeah. They, they flew across the pond, they went to Canada. Oh, wow. Uh. Yeah. They're gorgeous. I adore these. It's my favourite tiger's eye that I've ever seen. Wow. Oh, OK. Oh, my gosh, that is a big statement. Where do you sell then? Do you sell online? I do, yes. Do you? Uh, oh, fantastic. A couple of platforms, but uh, right, primarily the very handmade one. <laughs> wow. Oh, good for you. Well, there you go. That's interesting to know. Sold within minutes. When uh, Gem turned these into jewellery with the Swarovski AB. 270 carats of purple tigers. If you're thinking, oh, I'd like to do that. Well, I had... On the mid show this afternoon, in the four o'clock hour, in the kit, there were the round six mil Swarovski beads with AB. And we had the light Colorado topaz. If you fancy either of those and you get Kleshner's kit from this afternoon, perfect. Okay? Now, I promised you three sizes. Gem said you got them in all sizes. I've got them in eight mil. Now, the good news is we are doing an avalanche on the, top, on the purple tiger's eye. So when you see the um, eight and six mil, the price will go lower. That's a guarantee. Isn't it, love? She went, yeah. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Yeah. She says, yeah. <laughs> Purple tiger's eye. What we have is the phenomena that is chatoyancy, your single paralleled line that ripples across the gemstone. And that ripple effect is your chatoyancy. Now, if you managed to get, um, again, earlier on in the show today, in the afternoon show, we had the Tiffany Opal. And we had some incredible Shara White. And if you've got either of those, these will go brilliantly because of that delicious, deep, silk-like purple. All right. Big carrot weight. Beautiful effect. Very Moorish. Mmm. Aren't they? Oh, yes. Like a blueberry. Like a... Yes. I'm always a bit wary of blueberries because sometimes you get that dodgy one that's right tastes a bit fussy. Blech. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the. T I like blueberries, but I'm always scared of that really unpleasant one. <laughs> <laughs> and then it puts you off all its friends in the tub, doesn't it? Do you not think? My favourite blueberries were the one you got me from that oh, Costco. big company. Yeah, mm. Costco. Other shops are available. Oh, they do do. They do mm. do. I've done it again. They do do. Linda the Bromwell. Do. They do do the most amazing blueberries, and you never get a you never get a dodgy one in, in no. Costco. Never. Do you know Victoria Beckham buys her fruit from Costco? She does. She does. Does I, I should be I should be on commission with Costco. I tell you <laughs> honestly, I'm on first name terms with all the stuff there. I get all right, team. Get all right. I love Costco. Uh, the shops are available. Seven ninety five. But yeah, the blueberries in Costco. If you've never had them, a they're like superhuman, super sized gargantuan, and they taste awesome. K J K Y eighty seven. Delicious purple tiger's eye. And I tell you what, if you got those multicolored jaspers earlier, let me just show you those together. Look, they look brilliant. Everything goes with these jaspers. Look at that. It's true. It's mm -hmm. true. We only tell the truth here on Jewelry Maker. That is the joy of a multicolour gemstone, isn't it? Do you know, we have, to, we have to sign a contract to say we will only tell the truth. Oh. We do. Did you, know, did you know that? We have to sign a contract here at Jewelry Maker that says I will tell the truth. It is on your contract as well. It is in your contract. If there is a clause in your contract about honesty. I can't tell fibs, because when I tell fibs, I laugh. That's what I do. I giggle. 
<laughs> Did you say what? Sorry, I didn't. There are some stunning silver jump rings. Would you like me to do those then? Jump for my love. Jumping. Do, 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 do. Yahoo! It's a bulk buy. 50. Beautifully crafted jump rings. They really are. Lovely luster. But can I draw your attention to the bottom of the screen quickly there? Look, average weight of sterling silver, six whole grams. That's a lot of silver. As Scylla said, it's a lot, a lot of silver. It is, yeah. <laughs> oh, somebody just said, what's a Costco? Costco, C-O-S-T-C-O, -C -O, is a massive American-based warehouse. And if you've never been, you need to go. I took the new man the other day, he couldn't get his breath. <laughs> oh, he was in heaven. Other shops are available. It's a brilliant shop though, I, I love it. Oh, I'll get you cheese from Costco, don't I, Leah? Every time I go to Costco, I get Leah. Can you get me some cheese? Yeah, it's a brilliant shop. Um, anyway, uh, other shops are available. <laughs> Sterling's, I do love Costco, I'm sorry. Sterling Silver, open jewelry, rings, <laughs> seven mil, I love it. They don't sell jump rings, though. Ah, uh, they don't sell jump rings. A bundle pack, 50 pieces for $8.95. They're, they're just perfectly formed, aren't they, Jen? They are. They're beautiful. They I really are. It's a thing of beauty. It's so... Uh, you can make your own jump rings. Uh, it takes a little bit of getting used to doing it, and uh, I'm no, not good with a saw, so I would always buy yeah. my jump rings ready-made. I yeah, always I'm do. Exactly the same. I'm, I mean, I'm, gosh, I mean, you've seen uh, Fleur make her own jump rings, and she's super good, but like you say, that saw cut, preci saw cut precision is such a technique. It's a skill that takes some practice and, yeah. uh, and making it absolute... But oh these my. are just ready to go. I don't like using a hammer, so I'm not going to be using a saw. It's just not going to happen. OWRF82, 8.95, bought by 7 mil. See, that is, that is why I mentioned Costco, because a lot of it's bought by, you see. So, you know, that's where the Costco link came in. It was the blueberries. It was my fault. Mm. Soz. It's all right. It is your fault. Now I don't... Oh, wow. Oh, Jim, you are going to want this, my friend. Are you kidding? No. It's massive. I know. Uh, oh, I know. Six left. Wait, what? Oh, no. <laughs> We've just heard the deal. <laughs> wow. A six-carat solitaire of uh, Kunzite in a presentation box. Wow. That's amazing. H G V R seven two. That is huge. It's absolutely vast. It what really a is. Step facet, and you don't it's really see that, that, that often. That long step facet mm. all the way down. That I mean, we haven't measured it. Have we not measured this? Can I give you an idea of the length? Because why on earth would we have a consult of that length and not measure it? That doesn't make sense. Okay, I reckon I'm going to guess there about 23 mil drop. 23 mil drop by roughly. Um, by 23 by 10, roughly. I've got there, but it's a six, it's a six carat is the size we're going to give you. But that's the size of the that's the length of the one I've got in the studio here. There are only six left. Sorry. I would put the price in so that those people that have got it in there, I know. 
a six carat solitaire of Kunza in a, in, a, in a presentation box for 19.95. Wow. Yeah, wow. Lovely shape. It's absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. And, and that sort of dimension is infinitely wrappable. Oh, yeah. You don't have to have Look the silver smithing skills. Exactly, yes. Yeah. That's stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. I think with those elongated step facets, it's going to help you mm. to, totally to kind of use it in prong setting and wire wrapping. Mm. Beautiful. Told you. Okay, everybody keeps messaging it in and going like, please put them on pre-order. We can't. I'm sorry. These amazing deals. Now, the deal this morning on the, uh, the deal of the day with the chrome dark side uh, version um, sold out. We've got the Neon Appetite, the Sky Blue Appetite, and the Eye Pop in Peridot. And this is a great deal. And it is only just over 10 minutes away. Okay. Ooh. Not seen since 2018. I'm afraid. Not seen since 2017. Leah, they're going on. They're going on. They're going straight on. Natural metallic side drill rare keshi pearls in this muted silver lavender tone. That is super metallic luster. Oh yeah. Wow. I don't think you could get more metallic. No. No. It, and they have been dipped in like molten. Oh yeah. Wow. Natural as well. That's what makes these all, all the more Desirable. The fact mm -hmm. that that tone, that luster, that and of course with the Keshi, it's all nacre, so all you get is luster upon luster upon luster upon luster. It can't help itself. It's just incredible. They are beautiful. Can I take those off? Just have a little look close up to your mind on the hand. It, do you know? Oh, do you know? He said, do you know what my director just said? Do you know it looked? He never said that to me. He said it looks so lovely on your neckline. I didn't want to come off the camera shot. Aww. Aww. Okay. If you love iridescence, if you love the iris in this in this Mikey seed beads, if you like a Beyond Swarovski, if you love the colours of the rainbow across the surface of your pearls, doesn't come through the camera very well here in the studio because of the lights and the design of the camera. But my goodness me, enjoy that iridescence when you get them home with your thirty-day money-back guarantee. Metallic luster in those is glorious. We're going to a lowest ever price. They have not been seen any lower than $39.95 ever. So for those of you hovering in your baskets, I can see you. I can see you there, got it in your baskets thinking, what are you going to do for us? Well, it's going to be a lowest ever price on the Lake Show. Do, I tell you what, Becky, let's go as naughty as we can. Let's go as naughty as we can. Every penny, every pound that we can. Never before, make it super desirable. QBD P56, natural metallic, fresh water, side drill Keshi pearls, 12 to 19 mil. So they're superb in size. Beautiful tone of colour. When you think that that has been created naturally, oh my word. You said you're going to take two pounds off, not twelve. Wow, now that is impressive. Do you know what I love about our Keshi Pearl strands as well? We don't have to cram a lot on there, don't we? They are totally Can shoulder to shoulder. Oh, yeah. Mm. I mean, look, they have we got a little kissy double one there? Oh, I thought we had a kissy kissy one. It's joined. Look at that. What do you think? Wow. Yeah, wow. Those are incredible. The luster is outstanding. It's unbelievable. And to, to think that that colour is natural as it's well. Just, it, that's mind-blowing, isn't it? It is. It really is. That's, that's hugely rare. Yeah. Well done, all of you. With it. Now, hang on, I'm a bit worried because I've got Sarah in Merseyside, Chris in Yorkshire, Collector, Georgina in Kent, Hazel in... Oh, everybody's coming in from Kent. Um, the basket is working, I take it. Online checkout is working. Hmm. How many have we got, sorry? Wow. We started with 45. Okay, that is it. 
less than 20 available. Okay, so Rosie in Devon, Paul in Cheshire, Hazel in Kent, Georgina in Kent, Sarah in Merseyside, Chris in Yorkshire, those of you trying to get in on this deal, £12 saving on those. Shall I give you an idea roughly of how many you're going to get? Roughly. One, two, three, four, five. I'm just going to ignore you. Six, seven, eight, nine. Well, hang on, before I count, can you, does the iridescence come through? Oh, my goodness. I did want to kind of try and get it to come through, look. You that know, on a sunny day, you see somebody drive past in an old car and they've polished the chrome. Yep. Look at wow. That. Purples, pinks, greens, golds. Wow. I was counting, but I just I got captivated by the iridescence. So, should I start again? It's yeah. easy to be distracted by beauty, isn't it? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Wow. 41, 42, 43, 40, 45 Keshi pearls. You are kidding me. That means we're taking a rare minimum seven years to grow a Keshi pearl and then some. So how much each? can't be right, darling. Back. That can't be right. 61 pence for a cashew. So a pair of earrings. Hey. £1.22. Even if you go full sterling silver ear hooks, you're putting that together for significantly under a fiver. What would you sell it for? Natural colour metallic cashew pearls on a precious metal ear wire. Oh, I thought my head that is. I'd go for 27.75 for those earrings we've just created. And the rest, yeah. That'd be great. Oh, my word. Well, I've got somebody buying two. Don't blame me. You just saved yourself £24 on that deal. And 40p. And, yeah, and 40p, yeah. Fair point. Yeah, I forgot about this 40p. <laughs> QB... Sorry, QB DP 56. Natural, metallic, fresh water, cultured, side drill, keshi pearls, 12 to 19 mil. Well done. Now, uh, those of you within your baskets, you don't need me to tell you what to do. You need to, but I will. Check it out. Check it out, check it out, check it out, check it out. Oh, I love these. I'm forever blowing bubbles. Pretty bubbles in the air. They fly so high. It's a very sad song. I mean, listen to this. They fly so high, nearly reach the sky. Let me listen to this next line. Then, like my dreams, they fade and die. Oh, that's a bit depressing, isn't it? <laughs> you are. What's it from? Don't know. Just the song. I'm forever blowing bubbles. <laughs> a bit depressing, though, isn't it? Starts off, I'm forever blown. It's like, oh, oh. minor key change. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, they're going on. They're going on. These are blue coated clear quartz. 10 mil. I think I've got an idea of something that will go with those. I'll show you in a moment when we've got the price in. Because the price is going under 10. All wow. right, my lovelies. If you've got the multi, multi, multi colour abstract Jaspers. Yeah, brilliant. That's cool. Yeah, and if you go for these. That's really. Oh, I like oh that. Oh my gosh, that's stunning. Do you like that? Yeah, that's bang on. You like? I do. Oh, yes, I rather like that as well. Oh, do you know what I really fancy? Do you know what I just... How does it work when suddenly you don't smell anything, but you just suddenly want some... Do you know what I just fancy? Fish and chips from the chippy. <laughs> oh, I could just eat fish and chips sauce. in the chip with curry sauce. Oh, I could just eat that now. I'm literally... Oh. It's a bit fancy nipping out to the chippy for us. There's one in Henley and Arden. Lucy. Lucy? I'll buy you all fish and chips if you go and get them. Seriously? Yeah, I'll buy you all fish and chips if you go and get them. Just fancy fish and chips with curry sauce. 
Is that bad? How would I eat it on air? Don't know. <laughs> I'll never go. Uh, right then. It'd be they great are to busy. explain the smell of curry yeah. tomorrow morning. Yeah, when oh, poor Al comes in in the morning. Interesting. <laughs> well, well done. Oh, it's break time. Okay, um, right then. Um, we are going to come back. Um, I'll show you them after the break. They are fantastic. Uh, they really are. It's a great, great. In fact, should we give you. Yeah, they're there. There they are. Thank you, Adam. These are glorious. And the good news is, you get all three of them. The Neon Appetite, I mean, it's difficult to pick one because you'll all have your favourite, but for me, the Neon Appetite is just sensational. We're going to go for a little cheeky break. We haven't really got fish and chips. We wish we had, but we haven't. So please do join us after the break for your today's must-have. To jewelry maker for a limited time we're offering new customers a wonderful free gift the free gift includes two beautiful genuine gemstone strands in an organza bag as long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before then your free gift will be automatically added to your order when you make your first purchase it's really that simple gemstone strands are selected at random so gemstone size color and type will vary for each new customer why stop there once you receive your gemstones, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share.
That's what I'd be doing if I was at home now. I'd be like, come to mama. <laughs> oh, I would. Um, now then, uh, the first thing that happened when I walked in today, my lovely producer, Becky, she went, have you seen her today's must have? And I love it when she gets excited like that because I know it's something special. And she showed me and I went, oh, we took it into the workshop and all the ladies were like, give it to me. <laughs> so it's just amazing. Um, it's hard to choose a favourite. You might choose between the three and you might go for something different to me. But for me personally, it's these. You get three. You get sky blue, you get uh, appetite, you get neon appetite, which I've got here, and you get peridot. Look at that. Shocking. Wow. You weren't allowed to have favourites, really. Mm -hmm. That's my favourite. Oh, oh, that is my favourite. There's no two ways about it. That, that is absolutely my favourite. It really is gorgeous. There is no two ways about it. That shock of colour, that lovely, glossy, shiny, beautiful, neon appetite, massive chunks of beauty. Now, you might be thinking, I thought there were three. There are. That's so lovely. You could just stare at that for hours, couldn't you? Oh, easily. It's such a beautiful colour. Mm. And you, you know when you hear the word neon. Oh, yeah. This is the kind of strength that springs to mind. Mm -hmm. Then we're going for, I think, one of the most eye-popping colours of gemstones bar none. Your glorious peridot. It's so bright. It's like a newly formed bud on a flower stem, isn't it? It is. It's spring incarnate. Mm, it really is. Oh, can we all wait for the clocks to go forward? When is it? When is it? Forward? Is it back? Is it back? It's back. Clocks back? Forward. Spring forward. Spring forward. Spring, spring forward. forward. Spring forward. Back. Yeah. It's only in about three weeks, isn't it? Woohoo! Yeah, three weeks and the clocks go forward. Yay! And we laughingly lurch into British summertime. Well, yes. Well, you can say that after last year. We had the best summer last year ever. Last year was amazing, and mm. it's my favourite summer I've ever well, had. Well, it might be again. Right then, speaking of summer, would you like to see a summer sky? Yes, please. Yes, OK, here we go. This is the summer sky. Where they better look. This is Adam's favourite, my direct haul. He likes the sky blue appetite. Oh, it's just transported you to, like, the Maldives, hasn't it? Yes, please. Yep, yeah, the Maldives, Sri Lanka, Barbados. St. Lucia. Oof. Yeah, do you know, I've always fancied St. Lucia as well. I got married in St. Lucia. What? I did. You got married in St. Lucia? Yeah. Did you? Yeah, and it was like on a shoestring. It cost almost nothing. It was like a £1,100 to get married. Wow. Everything. It was amazing. It's so beautiful. Really? I don't work for the St. Lucian Tourist Board, honest. <laughs> I don't work for Costco either. <laughs> honest. Wow. Neon Appetite, Sky Blue Appetite, Peridot. I'm just going to say to you, 60 carrots. There are 20 carrots in each in these raw, glorious nugget strands of these three sensational gemstones, eye-popping colour all the way through. Becky, I'm going to dare you to go naughty. I'm daring her. I am. I think if you can match the deal of the day price today, darling, on those incredible deal of the day that sold out this morning, if you can match that price on these, I think everybody would be happy because that means you're going under 20. It means you're going under 20. Oh, Mandy from Liverpool, and oh, Mans. I haven't spoken to you for ages. Mandy lives in Liverpool. You wouldn't know which for my accent, would you? I'll tell you what, let's do that. Let's go under £20 then, Becky, if you can. Oh, she's beaten it! You are lovely! Yes, yeah, so it's not the deal of the day, it's the steal of the day. How many do we have, sweet pea? How many do we have? How many? Oh, do you know what the good news is? You've got good availability. Do you know what? It's a blooming good job because the first person checked out 10. 
No. Oh way. yeah. Oh my goodness. Collector in. Um, oh, the, we're, do you know we're off to Malaga? We're off all over the place. Somebody in. Um, hang on. Collection Northampton just had two. Collection North York just had two. Celine has had ten. Collection, that's two of you had ten. Collection Greater London's had three. Neil's had two. Georgina's had two. Geraldine's had two. Now, Joanne, Maureen, Gemma, Andrea, Alison, Jane, Leslie. What a great deal. What a great deal. So, your favourite's the neon, is it, uh, Gem? Yep, I love the neon. And me. Uh, Je uh, Leah, what's yours? Um, the far blue, the neon. You like the neon as well? Yeah, I think we're all going for the neon. What a great price point as well. Yeah, Adam likes... The sky blue, but that to me. Can I show you that? That on the neckline? Give you an idea what it looks like against the skin. Here we go. I'll hold them all up for you, actually, because we're all raving about the neon, but you might prefer the period or the sky. Oh, wow. <gasps> That's incredible. What a Such fizz. a shocker colour, isn't it? Mm. It's like effervescing. It is. Isn't it? Mmm. Oh, do you know, we've just had a member of our team, our lovely Adam, offer to come and bring that to you in Malaga, Vivian. If you fancy it, mind you, he would, he would insist on, you know, an overnight. In Malaga. <laughs> would you like to see the peridots? The peridot. Sorry, it's because my ex sister, she, I always said to her, do you know what your birthstone is? And she, I said, when's your birthday? She went, August. I said, do you know what your birthstone Oh, I don't like that peridot. <laughs> Stuck in my head ever since. He'll find his peridot. No, it's peridot. I said, mm, I don't think it is. Anyway, eye popping August birthstone to go with your, your spinel is your peridot. Mind you, it's like that um, jalapeno, your jalapeno. It's spelt jalapeno. Why is it, why is it an H? Hmm, don't get that either. Jalapeno. Jalapeno. <laughs> <laughs> 1795. You do realise that's for all three strands, don't you? You do realise that that means each of these strands is 599. That's absolutely fantastic. Yikes. And look at that colour combination. Oh, I know. That really comes alive mm -hmm. on the skin. Just isn't it? Real, real beauty. You are loving this, aren't you, my lovelies? And I'm so pleased for you. 599 a strand. 599 a strand. I've actually beaten the deal of the day price, which is super. Thanks, Becky, love. Sure, that's all right. They are superb. Multi buy, multi buy, multi buy, multi buy. Okay, Gem, if you were at home, how many would you buy? Honestly, five. five. Would you? Yeah. And what would you do with them? Well, I would want a piece entirely made of the neon. So I'd use probably three or four strands with those. Okay. And then I'd intermingle the neon with the sky blue. Would you? And I'd utilise those insanely gorgeous peridots in Tree of Life designs. Oh, nice. Because when you do have that sort of rough aspect to the gemstone, it really takes on a different it does, appearance. Doesn't it? Yeah, agreed. It really does. I've got to say a massive thank you to our buying team because that is a really good deal. I mean, a really good deal. Now, if you get these wheels coming up, if you get these wheels coming up, how about this then? Let me show you, let me show you. Look at that. And the, and the bubbles as well. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, I think they may have just um, gone walkabout. I think they've gone home for the night, but they would be yep. amazing. All they would have been with that, yeah. They've burst those bubbles. Yeah, superb. Well done. Oh, my word. They, everybody's going bonkers for those. Okay, now we started with a really good availability, but as I said, I mean, since I've just spoken to you, um, uh, I think Alison, Alison's had three in Bristol, uh, Ger uh, Geraldine's coming in and added another two, Liz has had two, I'm just talking about the multi buyers. Christine's had two, Actress has had three, Jan's had two, hello Jan and the Isle of Man, she's had two as well. Now, I started with 263, we've got less than 100 left. Is anybody going through Henley and Arden to bring us these fish and chips? So hungry. Just suddenly turned hungry. Isn't that right? Isn't it weird? Where's it? I don't want chocolate, I want fish and chips. B A V X36. They are beautiful. I've got a bag of roasted almonds we can share later can't eat if nuts. you like. Can't eat nuts. Can't eat nuts. No. <laughs> hmm. 
Probably best not then. Probably best not, yeah. Mm. Yeah. That is a gorgeous deal. Um, do you know what? My, oh, my goodness. My, I, can you, I know the chance. Oh, that's Sir Lindsay from California as well. Has, um, has, has Mandy messaged in? <laughs> yeah, I want to see if Mandy's messaged in. I'll love you, Mandy. Mandy. Is she, oh, there she is. You have just made my day. I adore Danny Kay and often listen to his music or watch his films in bed. That is great, isn't he? Aww. There one. Hello, you wonderful lot. I was so happy early to see my two favourite ladies. Couldn't resist those gorgeous strands. Their neon is far, is by far my favourite. Don't blame me, Mamsy. Owly Mams. Nikki's just commissioned. Hi, can you let Leah know? Leah. I found a sloth pattern, so I'll make her a sloth key ring. Yeah. Oh, oh, Nikki. She, Legendary. I, is it your WhatsApp that's a sloth? Image or is it your Facebook? Is it uh, Facebook. Your, it's Facebook, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Louisa says, Hello! I don't think any of us would mind if you all had fish and chips now. You all work so hard. Oh, thanks, Louisa. You are Aww. lovely. Just suddenly went hungry, you know, when you suddenly have a taste for something. Oh, don't you find that when you really fancy fish and chips, the smell when you walk in the fish and chip shop is amazing. Oh, then you sit in the car and eat them out. You know, would you crave fish and chips? Something else will do, will it? Do you like it when you get the old fa I like it when you get the old fashioned wooden fork in a fish and chip shop. Mm -hmm. Not these plastic blue ones. Oh no, the old fashioned. A nice wooden one. You use your fingers, do you? But if you sat down on the beachfront, <laughs> you might want to have a little mm. fork to use, you know, in terms of cleanliness. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm. I'll tell you what, I do think fish and chips on the beach are the best. The fish and chip shops by oh, the beach. Definitely. Definitely. Ax Louisa, could you just bring us some in then? <laughs> Good luck on those. Great deal, sweetie. Great, great deal. Do remember to check out, won't you? Because they are going very quickly indeed. I, the only reason I've got any left is I started with 263. Good availability. So, shall we give you some options of the appetite and the peridot to go with those? Yeah? <gasps> oh, no! Seriously. Whoa. What? In fact, they're going on as well. They just, they just want to go up, up, and away. Up, up and away. Oh, come on. With the blue amber. With Ugh. the... Oh, all right, just because you've got it. Oh, just because you've got the blue amber. Yeah. They are scrum diddly umptious. Final 20, but we are last of stock on a lot of these lines. If you see them and you love them, get them checked out to make sure you avoid bitter disappointment. These are graduated faceted rondelles. You, now, don't worry. What, what, I, to, I tell you what, I'm going to ask Jem. Do you put rough with, with faceted? Oh, absolutely. And, and, yeah, you yeah. do. So you don't mind mixing the two? No, I love putting the two together because you do get such a different effect from them. And I definitely add in some of the polished nuggets, you know, the nice. ones that have been tumbled. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you ever get your hands on some rounds, chuck them in as yeah, well. Yeah, absolutely. Look at that. See, I think that's the before and after, and that looks great, doesn't it? It does. Yeah. Because you've got to take the rough with the smooth. <laughs> Although that's not technically right, Adam, because they're faceted. <laughs> anyway, bless him, he was trying to be helpful. He tries. <laughs> we do have these. Wow. In a quarter of an hour, at 8.30, you can get those whopping great big appetite wheels. Now, I'm going to ask, I'm going to again, I'm going to do it with Jem. Jem, 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 Jem. Appetite like that. Now, we know appetites normally should be a considered purchase because it's usually quite expensive. Yeah. Um, appetite wheels, massive up to 6 by 11. What price do you honestly think on those appetite wheels? If uh, you just think about the size of the strands exactly. that we're looking at at 34.95 and multiply that up, you know, I'm, I'm thinking three figures. Mm -hmm. Nope. They're absolutely gorgeous and super mm -hmm. for, for all genders, aren't they? Yep. Under 20 that those wheels are going, Jim. You're kidding? Nope. They're massive. I know. Who did that? I know. Okay, the final 20 on your neon appetite. I love that price where it's going. It's um. Are we? We've got a. 
what? What? Was that thirty four ninety five before? Wow, very impressive. Big, big saving. Fifteen pound saving. Exact amount. Yeah, fifteen pound saving. Wow, well done, well done. Oh, that's a nice shape. Peridot. Where are they from? They're in China, are they? Great, so we've got an ideal location. Irregular bicone. It's an interesting one. It is. Quite angular, lovely. So they so say they angry then. I was going to say, why are they angry? Because they're green. Hulk smash. Oh, sorry. What was that? <laughs> what? The Hulk. What did he say? Hulk smash. Hulk smash. What does that mean? Not a cartoon nor comic book no, character no. fan. No. Okay. David Banner. No, I know the Hulk, but I didn't know. I don't. I don't get. Mm. They're all talking foreign to me. I have no <laughs> idea what they're talking about. You misunderstood my word to say angry. I, I just thought angular. <laughs> um, I'm confused. 30 centimetres of peridot. Popping peridot. I get. Oh, somebody said, can you show those with the nuggets? Yes, of course I can. I can do anything that you'd like. I'll do anything. For you to... Oh, and Neela, you, you've been having some lovely treats tonight. Hello, lovely ladies. Hello, gorgeous face. Great. I've got to look up. Can I read it there? Great deal. You, madam. I've just had fish and chips. If I was living nearby, I would have brought some in for you, lovely Zena. Oh, thank you. She's just had fish and chips. Oh. You lucky thing. She'd have brought us in fish and chips. And she would as well, Neela. Aww. She would, wouldn't you? She'd have bought in a fish and she would have bought us in fish and chips. Yes, she would. Now, are you mushy peas or curry sauce? Curry sauce. Yeah, curry sauce. Well, I know you'd have both. You say these things and there's not any fat on you. I don't think you've ever had fish and chips. No, I don't think if Anita set off now, she'd get here by 10 o'clock from Norfolk. It's quite a drive, kids. It's a long drive to it's Norfolk. It's about three hours to my house from Norfolk. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a long way, darlings. Because you have to get down to come up, don't you? It's yeah. A funny, it's a funny drive to, a, to down Norfolk. Down the 8 tone. Mm. She won't be flying. Six nights... Do you know, we've all decided what you're doing in Ely. She's like, do you know what, I'm going to sit at home. I'm not even attempting to come down. Lovely. I mean, this is something that will take... When you, if you've never tried um, peridot... Um, can I tell you what happened to me once with peridot? So... I bought, um, when I used to work for Gemporia, I bought a necklace that came with three pendants. There was an ice white, uh, iced bright uh, topaz. Yeah. There was a, uh, I can't even, th I think it was a sky blue topaz and yep. it was a peridot. And I looked in the window, in the, in the window, I looked in the mirror with these pe uh, um, pendants and I went, saw the other two first. And then the second the peridot I put on the neckline, you know when you do a double take? Because it is so eye catching. Yeah. And that is what peridot does. It's a double eye take. It will catch you. You know, like when you see a staccato head turn in a, in a tango, and you're like that, I can't do it because it hurts your neck. You know, they do that double fast tango, and they flick the head round. That's what peridot makes you do. It does. It really does. It is sensational. CPRU06, okay, right, 695. Ooh. Mm. Oh, that's pretty. Wow. Oh, my word. Sky blue. We've given you one in each of the uh, nuggets and then the pot and then the, um, you know, the highly polished faceted. These are smooth. These are non faceted. These are smooth. Wheels of sky blue with the sky blue chunky monkeys there. That you could get in that deal. There are, are there any still available of the 17.95 with the uh, sky blue, the neon, and the peridot, darling? Yeah, there's a few left. We started with 263. They have been amazingly popular this evening, so good luck on those. 
Sky Blue Appetite. Now, Appetite. Oh, okay. That's the should be. These are Madagascan. Madagascar delivers some of the most beautiful, brightly lit, fabulous, sensational coloured gemstones on the planet. There is no question about it. We're so lucky. Even the quality of the Labradorite from Madagascar is, is incredible. My really? favourite location for many I a gemstone. I totally agree. Rose you know? quartz, appetite. Yeah. Yeah. I totally agree. They're glorious. Do remember as well with Jewelry Maker, we give you the option to buy a certificate of authenticity and those authentici authenticity certificates tell you how many we've made as well, how many we've commissioned, so one of so many, like a print with artwork. We're going to take every penny off that for you that we can. Again, that's what we wanted to show you against the black backdrop. This will take you from day to evening wear. So if you're going to work and then you're going out, out afterwards, you haven't got time to go home, Wear your sky blue appetite and it will carry you right through the day into the evening. We've done one of those, haven't we? We go out in the day and then you end up, go, you end up staying out. Out. Out, out. I agree the unplanned out, out nights are the best. I love impromptu. You know, like when you've got something booked all the way through the week and then you go and it's a bit... But then somebody goes, oh, do you want to do this tonight? And you're like, yeah, definitely. Always the best, aren't yeah. they? Always the best. Did you see that? 1865. It's a funny price, but it's a huge saving on those sky blue appetites. Would you like to see those with the um, star bike coming up in uh, just over five minutes? Oh, yes, please. Oh, my goodness me. Wow. What do you think about that? That looks utterly stunning. It's a bit special, isn't it? Okay. I've got a chance to squeeze in a little treat. Right. Got cramp. Okay. We won't um, chat to Jen for a bit because she's suffering with cramp. If you need to go and have a little walk out and have a little, we're fine. So. It's this, it's such a difficult colour to explain. Because in, immediately you kind of go lime, well, mm, you'd have to be a sort of in, you know that when you get a really fresh, almost underripe lime? You know that, that you, yeah, I think if you go into a, into a vegetable shop and you go for the lime that is unripened, that's about the closest colour tone I can describe Low pop in peridot. Definitely. Mm. In a gin. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's glorious, it is. And it always surprises me because I think, you know, when you, when you get um, peridot, it's such a bright, luminous green. You, would think it, you wouldn't think it would go with as many gemstones as it does. That's true. And it really does. It does. It doesn't overpower them. No. But it just seems to combine yeah. so beautifully. So, I mean, if you went... I mean, earlier on today, we had, on the show, we had um, a fantastic under £5 natural lapis lazuli deal. That'd go brilliant. Equally, you put that with beautiful, you know, like the purple tiger's eye that we had, just to give you... Just to prove. Purple tiger's eye, great. You put it with carnelian, fantastic. You put it with appetite, it's going to work beautifully. You put it with smoky quartz, you put it with abalone, you put it with pearls, you put it with Baltic amber, you put it with turquoise. It works with everything. It is. It's like, you know, when you get those lovely bright highlight pens. This will highlight your jewellery. That's a beautiful way of putting it. Oh, thanks. And they're a lovely shape as well. Yeah. I mean, we, we tend to think of them as, as being almost plant-like yeah. when we're utilising them in jewellery. And being that, that kind of shape, they, they're quite nice for stalks and stems if you want mm. to make very, very literal, figurative mm -hmm. jewellery. I'm thinking some Renny Macintosh-inspired pieces. These would be utterly stunning. Yeah, they really would. Would you like your price point today on The Late Show, my lovelies? <laughs> they're faceted as well. I know. Yeah, faceted as well. Is it our lovely suit? That peridot looks almost like... That's a great point, you know? Like Sveen, great show, lovely ladies. Thanks, Sue. You're always so sweet, Sue. Oh, lovely lady, isn't that lovely? Oh. Adam, you have to be an honour... It's International Woman's Day. OK, so I'm afraid you have to be an honorary woman today, Adam. 
International... Is it classed as women's or women's? Women's? Women's Day. Yeah. Tell you what, I think women are amazing. I've got to say, I do. I do. I think, we're, I think we are mightily impressive. Anyway, I just thought I'd share that with you. UPRU92. If you could invite a lady to dinner, past or present, who would it be? Scarlett Johansson. Scarlett Johansson? Mm. Why, was, why was that so instant? Might have thought about it. OK. But, go on, text in. If you fancy, 60777. Start your text with JM Studio. If you would, can we pop some in if, you put, if we put the messages in? If you could have a woman, just, past or present, just, to dinner, just, just one, who would it be? Who would you choose? Who would, it who would you choose? How about you, Adam? Yeah? Give them a think if you want, or something that comes automatically to mind. Carrie Fisher! Out of stock. Oh, Adam's just yeah. said my girlfriend. Oh, brownie oh, points. Oh, Adam! Oh, Adam! Well, I think I've just fallen in love with Adam. L that just made my heart melt. Aww. Oh, what? Oh. <laughs> that lovely. You lovely man. But yeah, send some messages in and we'll, we'll pop some in, shall we, Becky? Yeah, shall we? Because it'd be interesting to see who you'd invite. A bit of fun. Um, it's that time. Let's give you a really nice star bye. You know, I even love the way we stranded this. We've even put little bubbles in between. We are good to you, I think. Little bubbles in between. It's great strands. Can I borrow that bus drama? Excuse me, moi. Excuse me, moi. Oh, 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 sorry. I look like Laurel and Hardy, don't I? I did a little scratchy head then. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> sorry. Okay. Ta da! Now, did you see the way that just naturally draped? Mm -hmm. didn't, I didn't it's mess with beautiful. it, did I? Look at that. What a great strap. If you've got that brilliant today's must-have, I've already proved that it works great with the peridot, works great with the sky blue and the appetite, and it works great with the neon. It really does if you want to add those in. Or just have this as they are. Full 38 centimetre strand. Lovely, gore. they've got a nice... Um, width to them haven't they they have so if you wanted to use them individually and prong set them you could Ooh, set nice a idea. little swarovski in the drill hole yeah and then set them sort of round side down on uh, as a Ooh, ring that'd be in nice a prong. wouldn't it that would be cool and because you do have that that depth to them mm -hmm. that would be achievable do you know what i like about these when you you know when you go on a boat uh, or, or you perhaps you i don't know perhaps you've surfed or i don't know gen no generally gone out on a boat or you've or you've been lucky enough to scuba dive like i have or snorkeling or whatever Ooh. and you see all the different colors and the different as you go deeper and shallower in the sea this is representative of all those lovely different you know depths of the of the seas and the oceans isn't it that's a beautiful think, way though? to think of it very aquatic yeah yeah i really do i've done a bit of snorkeling but i've never been scuba oh, diving oh scuba diving is ace I have scuba dived at night, which wow. was petrifying. How but deep did you go? Oh, well, yeah, we did all right. We, well, not that deep. You go with the buddy, but it was scary. But you see yeah. animals that you just never, well, you know, fish and stuff that you never see. I did a shark dive. I did an actual shark wow. dive. I did a wreck dive. I did a drift dive. I did dives with 100-year-old tur turtles. Oh. Oh, yeah. Did you name them? Huh? The turtles, did you name them? No. Rude. Do you know what it was like? Seriously, out in the Maldives, we went on this um, 100 year they were about 100 years old, you weren't allowed to touch them, obviously. You to, and it, but I tell you what, when you go into the sea, in the Maldives, it was like being at, the, it was like being at Birmingham Airport with these turtles. They were taken off everywhere. It was the most fascinating thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Massive, giant, 100 year old turtles. Just, oh it, was the most, oh, it was the most incredible thing I've ever seen. Ever seen in their natural environment. It was incredible. Wow. That does incredible. sound amazing. Yeah. Anyway, open water advanced qualified. Just like to say. And there's me practicing snorkeling in the bath. Oh, oh that's interesting. <laughs> How much bath water do you put in? I haven't got a bathtub anymore, but never mind. 
two hundred and fifty. Now then, okay. Now this this price point, I promise you, on the last forty three available, and that is all we have left. This has been an incredibly popular strand. You are going to marvel at the price drop. It's not a fiver. Way more than that. You won't get your breath. Promise you. We've just muted Gem Hawks. Not an easy task. <laughs> She's like pot, pot kettle and black. <laughs> we did that. We rendered you speechless, Gem Hawks. You did. Did we Temporarily. not? Temporarily. Temporarily, she says. Isn't that a magnificent? Okay, we're less than thirty already. That's fantastic. Oh yeah. Well done, everybody. We're less than thirty already. I think those are going to sell out really quickly. Twelve. 95. I'd space these with white gemstones, a white howlite wheel. Oh, Sit yeah. them side oh. by side and alternate them. We had some white howlite wheels on the show recently. Oh, did you? Yeah. yeah. The That'd other night, perfect. actually, on the late show, I believe. Okay, collector, you need to be quick. Collector in Northamptonshire in Surrey, Victoria. Collector in Midlothian, Yvonne. Brian, Kim, and collector in Cumbria. It's Madagascar again. Of Madagascar again. Oh, I have seen that film, but I still have no idea what you're all talking about. <laughs> so, we've got a message in from Stephanie. She says, hi, Zena and Bex. Phone the chippy. You have been on the go all day. You deserve a treat. Love the deal. She says, oh, Stephanie, you are lovely. Oh, Louisa says, I'd ask. Oh, Michelle Obama, good choice, Louisa. P.S. Hobby says he can't bring fish and chips all the way from Ketteridge. I've decided he's not a team player. <laughs> Louisa, <laughs> want to have a chat with your husband? I don't think he's a team player, quite frankly. Have a chat with him. He needs work. Marianne. Ma oh, Marilyn Monroe, definitely. Yeah, Marilyn Monroe. Mm. Sarah says... Oh, don't. She said it'd be no, it would. <laughs> Do you know what he just said, Sarah? Adam, he said, all the women in the world, and you choose her. It's not very nice, is it? It's fine. It's fine. Thank you, Sarah. I'll, thank you. Thank you for being. Thank you for being the only person in the studio that's been nice to me. Thank you, Sarah. We'd have a great time. So I'll come for dinner, Sarah. You're going to cook. If you cook, I'll come. I'll go anywhere if somebody cooks me dinner. I'm very easily bored. <laughs> Honestly, I'll go anywhere for dinner. You're wrong. I will. I'll go anywhere for dinner. PIGP54, 250. You are all lovely. He's like, let's take them fish and chips. £12.95. Now, um, I did only start off with 43 Do apologise. I've uh, got less than 15 available now, so good luck on those. Great deal. Mm-hmm. Oh, lovely. Well done. Congratu congratulations. Who would I invite? Do you know what? I'm going to have to give that a bit of thought. Have any more come in? Um, Leah, how about you? Naomi Watts. Naomi Watts. Hang on, what? I should know her. She's yeah, I know she's an actress, but from what? King Kong. Oh, the lady from King Kong. Oh, yeah, fair enough. She's nice. Um, Dawn says... Who's that? Who's... Oh, should I know who? Maya Angelou... Who's that? She's a poet. Oh, Dawn, you're... Oh. Maya Angelou. What a beautiful name. Check her out on uh, Instagram. Oh, she's got a... a big following on oh, uh, wow. social media so if you do the hashtag is she, Maya right? is she with us don't know oh wow anita says oh now you're getting me i'd love to have frida carla who's that she's an artist oh you all see aren't we aren't, wouldn't we have an eclectic mix if we mm. if we brought everybody together wouldn't that be wonderful though 
Yeah. Sharon says, hello, Sharon Louise. I would invite Mother Teresa. Oh, what a great choice. Oh. What a great choice. Yeah. Wow. Good choice. Oh, we've got some silk. Got to think about who would I invite lady-wise? Who would I invite? Hmm. I've got to have a good... I've got, hmm. Because there's so many amazing women, who do you actually choose? I suppose it would be obvious to actually invite a woman chef to dinner, <laughs> wouldn't it? No you know, no. if you're going to invite somebody, over. it better be a really good woman chef, wouldn't it? Like Delia or Nigella or whoever it might be. You know, or something that's got like three Michelin stars or something. Yeah, you cook. <laughs> Uh, silk thread, beautiful silk thread. Uh, again, it, I mean, that has got to be one of the most usable colours because it's white. And the amount of pearls that we bring you that are pearly white, mm -hmm. and if you want it to, to uh, blend in, you've got to go for a white silk. You have, but any coloured pearl will mm -hmm. look classically elegant with a white yeah. silk. Yeah, because again, even if you go peacock or the natu mm -hmm. those um, natural metallic uh, keshis we had earlier, you, you've got a bit of contrast or you a have. blend. And it will just look very, very elegant. Two metres, which will do, which will not a metre's worth of jewellery for one pound seventy-five. You got number four and point six mil. Lucy, do you want to join in? Who would you invite for I dinner, really lady? Got yeah. I haven't got anyone yet. I'm still thinking. You're still thinking. Okay. We're all thinking about which because it's International Women's Day. We're thinking which wonderful woman, past or present, would we invite to our dinner party? Who would we have? A little one-on-one. -on -one. You could have a chat with somebody. If you could talk to somebody. Quite in, it's quite interesting when you sit and think about it, isn't it? Coco Chanel. Coco Chanel. Quite high on the list, I think. Wow. Mm. Heather says, I'd invite Halle Berry. Great choice. choice. Halle Berry. Yeah. Sarah, you are more than welcome to come to dinner. I'm in Ipswich, though. That's not, what do you mean? That's fine. Oh, I travel. Can cook most things pretty good at meringue roulades for dessert. Oh, my word, you're kidding. <laughs> a meringue roulade. How far is it switch from here? Uh, Can we have a... That's fine. Seriously, Sarah, I would. Meringue roulade. Oh, can I have raspberry meringue roulade? I love pudding. Two and a half hours, that's fine. I'm all right with that. Two and a half hours, great. When? <laughs> when? I'll drive. Can we all, can, they all want to come though, that's the trouble, you need, you need, you need all of them, they all want to come. You, you know, we, we come as a team. It's so, a multi-pack. Yeah, it's a multi-pack. It's a multi-buy with Late Show crew. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, one pound seventy five. Right, what else we, can I get, can I do this in number 13, please, please, please? Yeah. Oh, Polina, oh, Polina, do, 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 do. At my primary school, we used to do a little dance with our hands that went with that song, but I can't for the life of me Thumbelina, remember it. Thumbelina, Thumbelina, yeah, I can't remember tiny little the thing, thing. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. You are lovely. Raspberry, I want a raspberry meringue we're real hard now. We've all got food on, the, on our brains. I'm starving. I've only had my breakfast today. Well, brunch. Had brunch. I'm well, I came here, I came into, I was on air from three. What was I supposed to do? Bigo Polina, Peruvian. Huge tumbles, because it's rough and tumble day. So we've had the rough, now we're bringing you the tumble. See, they're all gonna work. Doesn't matter whether you go, whether you go with the peridot, whether you go with the neon or the sky blue of the appetite look. So, I'm still trying to think which lady I'd invite. I'm struggling. Susan Sarandon. Oh, you like Susan Sarandon, don't you? Okay, T S J N 28. I'm just going to check. I take it these are natural. They're stunning. Opalina. Real thing of beauty, isn't it? It is. 
And, and again, I... it's a key location. Yep, key location, which always affects the value of a gemstone. And that graduation is quite... Despite the fact it's a dramatic increase in size from 7.5 to 6 by 12, you know, wow, more than double, so it doubles in size, it's very gentle. It is, isn't it's it? It's sort of soothing. Yeah. So if you were able to use them all in one piece, that graduation would be just perfection on the eye. Mm. I'm going to try them on when the price comes in. Wow, a third off, £150 strand. Right, who's messaged that in? Jennifer? <laughs> Who's Jennifer's husband? Jennifer, does Kevin know what you've... Now, we can't put that message on, but does your husband know what you've just messaged in? <laughs> Jennifer and Kevin? Having a wonderful Friday evening doing just that, then. <laughs> just message... You don't need to message it. We're all giggling at what we can't put on screen, sorry. But you knock yourselves out, you two. <laughs> Uh, right then, it's Mike. Oh, hello, Michael. Hi, Zena and team. I do a chocotastic chocolate ch with seven layers of delight. Oh, Mikey. West Yorkshire isn't far. My, I'll tell you what. Can we just go on a just like a, a gastronomic you, tour? You know these programmes when like all these chefs, like the hairy bikers, and you know those three. You know the the. The, the French guy off First Dates and Juno and Gordon and all that, just go, go in, a, in a van all around the UK and get filmed. Why can't we sell that to somebody? JM? Oh, we could, we could go to Mikey's for the Chocotastic Seven Layers. We were off to Sarah's for the Raspberry Meringue Roulade. Any other offers? Can you send a picture? Huh? Can you send a picture? Can you send a picture, Mike? Please. Will it travel? <laughs> can you send it through the post? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sorry, I was putting them on, wasn't I? Sorry, we're all excited about the food. Um, so, 99.95 on that. It's a third off. It's 33% saving on those opalinas. Opalina. We're all tied into Hans Christian Andersen today, aren't we, with uh, Danny Kay? TSJN28. Do forget. Do forget. Don't forget even your authenticity card. Definitely. Mm-hmm. Oh, they're nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Earrings to go with those, um, those wheels we've just had. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. We're all envisaging this chocotastic seven-layer chocolate trifle now, Mikey. You've lost us. Wow. Are you thinking um, sort of like a waterfall effect in drop Perfect. earrings? Yeah. yeah, I definitely yeah. go for a rose gold mm -hmm. on, on sterling silver. See, I, yeah, on sterling silver, I like the contrast of the, of mm -hmm. the yeah. Mm -hmm. They are absolutely They are heavenly. pretty special, aren't they? And again, Madagascan. Yeah, that's the thing you see. Now then. If you look at the... <laughs> if you look at the way that these are being drawn at the top, there's a nice protruding point. So they're going to be effortlessly easy to brio lay wrap. They would be, yes. Wouldn't they, darling? It would hold the shape of the wire wrapping mm. perfectly. So, uh, and on the mid-show today, we had some sterling silver wire. We had 1 mil, 0.8 mil and 0.4 mil in sterling silver wire on the Perfect. mid -show today. And if you wanted to utilise the way that we wrapped the pyrite in the first demo in the uh -huh. 7 o'clock hour, yep. you could do that with these in the sterling silver, obviously. AHNV19. Neon appetite drops. 49.95. You could easily pair those up, couldn't you? Yes. That's the lovely thing. You could easily pair those. What a beautiful colourway, isn't it though? We are going down on price. Quite dramatically. Twenty pounds saving.
clean on those. Beauties. Oh, £20 saving. Wow, Gemma's just said, I'd invite, oh, Princess Diana. Oh, that is a good call. Aww. That is a good call. Yep, Lisa. Hi, Zine. I'd like to invite my gran who died when I was six and all my great grandmothers. Oh, that's Aww. lovely, Lisa. Yeah, invite your nan. Yeah, I'd love to have Aww, my nan back yeah, again. Yeah, I'd like my nan. Mandy Z, could you say hi to my wonderful other half, John, as he sat watching you, watching with me for the... Oh, is he? Have you, have you, have you... Where's he been? I'm not sure if I can now. John, first time. John. Hello, John. <laughs> can I just say, John, we love your better half. It's going to be better half on National, International Women's Day, hasn't it? Hello. Oh, Kleshner. I did ask her to message me back and tell me she got home safe. OMG, beef are gorgeous like you ladies in capitals. Love you. <laughs> Stop it. Uh, just got back um, in driving rain, but what fabulous gems and shows. Love to all, Kleshner. And kiss, 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 <sighs> you got to love Klesh. Yeah, absolutely. Got it. She's a force of nature, She's is Kleshner. She's amazing, that woman. Mm -hmm. Yep. I, I adore her. <laughs> I, actually, I did text her earlier and said, I adore you. I do. I adore her. She's um, brilliant. Batty, but brilliant. That's why I love her. She's like me. Batty, but brilliant. Brilliant. Wonderful. Sorry, which one? Oh, yes. Ooh. Ooh. Itchy nose. I mean, you get a surprise, doesn't it? Itchy Boom. nose. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. I didn't have any. I didn't have any hiccups. Hiccups. White cultured freshwater pearls. Bright white. And yo, I know what you're going to ask me. So might as well just put it in already. Mm -hmm. That is divine. Yep. Lovely combination. All those. Yep. Also. And. Oh. Peridot and pearls is a match. Absolutely made in heaven. I totally agree. Yeah, it's there's something mesmerising about yep. that combination. Yep. How do you fancy a? F a oh, okay. What is wrong with us? Why are we not measuring gemstone strands? Oh, do it myself. I do it myself. Do it, and you know, not like I've got more, more than one thing to do. You know, off the ruler as per usual. We got wig well. I'll go 38, but I've got a, it's off the ruler, so I've got 40 centimetres there, but, you know, we'll say 38 just to play it safe. Right, Leah. What price are we doing, then? You, she's going under 10. Now, I know it's difficult, because we now look at that, don't we, and we think, is that, is that, are they real? Yep. If you... If you go onto the FIFO independent review site and look at the star rating that you give our pearls, pretty much every time, five star. That was a band, wasn't it, five star? Yes. What song did they yes, sing, five was. star? Can anybody remember? Uh, give me a minute and it'll come to me. Don't you look it up. No, 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 I, no. No, no, I've got no time. No. <laughs> what was it, five star? Can anybody remember the song, the big songs that Five Star did? Oh, I just had it then. Stop singing, Adam. Systematic. That's the word. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Honestly, on Popmaster this morning, I was honestly, I was, I impressed myself. I did. I was saying this earlier. I just got out of the shower. I stitch on doing Popmaster. You know, on Radio Two, we can brew, so the shows are available. I was that. There was a, there was a couple of. Honestly, I surprised myself. I actually did a lap of honour round my dad's landing. He's not there, so don't worry. <laughs> in my birthday suit. And I was like, <laughs> yes! I was so chuffed with myself on these answers. Honestly, I didn't... I don't know where it came from in my head. So knocked out with myself. I don't often get chuffed with myself like that, but I was really proud of myself you today. You should be. You know, it's like I don't know where that systematic just came from. Dumb. Never can get 
I can remember the clothes they wore to that they video. They were all white, weren't they? Was he all white? It was sort of semi-military jumpsuit type oh, thingies. Oh, yeah, I remember mm. that now, yeah. She's showing her age. All the kids are like, what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Citrine. Citrine addict. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. What are those coming up in the, in the, um, in the box down there? What are they? And they are aquamarine, huge, loose gems. Gemstone of this month for the birthstone. I keep forgetting it's March. Do you know, I do, I do. I cannot believe we're actually in March. We're a week in already. This year has whizzed past. Hasn't it just? I feel like I've only just put my Christmas tree away. To be <laughs> fair, it did take me until February to put it away. That's probably why. MRRU61, gorgeous strand. Oh, they're, lovely. they're bright, aren't they? They're beautiful. Yes, it was a bit probably there, wasn't it? They're very bright. Very sunshine. Mm. They're lovely. What are you talking about? Oh, they're planning the next hour. They're getting ahead of themselves. That's unusual. Brazilian citrine. I'm going to show you a strand that I think these will go with wonderfully, okay, if I may. Now, Jen, could you pop on over here? I can. Would you mind, darling, because I need your help. It's a good job I put my shoe back on, isn't it? Yes. Right, if you could hold those, mm -hmm. I'm going to put this incredible strand on earlier that we did at 9, did we? 9.95. I know, it's still sensible. sensible. Could you? Above. Thank you. Now look at that. What do you reckon? That's delicious. Those are I think those are spacers. What do you think? Yeah, look at that sparkle. Isn't that wow. lovely? Wow. That's stunning. You could I mean, just like, do You could that, just do that, you? couldn't you? And do it layered. Yeah. Yeah? Or bring it down to the collarbone oh, where the yeah. citrine starts. Play around with stop, your stop, combination. Stop, 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 get off, get off. Yeah. Oh, you, you were tassel tickling. Oh. I wasn't. You were tassel tickling. The, don't call HR. She was tassel tickling. I was. Ah! Oh, don't. I'm really ticklish. Oh, no. D oh, give it in. Oh, she's a madam, isn't she? I don't hey. know. Oh, oh, you really tickled me then. Look, I've got all goosebumpy. Ooh. Right, there's video evidence I didn't touch her. She, she did. She tassel tickled. She tassel tickled. She tassel tickled. Yeah, no. <laughs> she tassel tickled. Have you done that to yourself? Have you tickled yourself with our tassels? Have you? Are you, are, have you though? They're lovely. They're lovely. I bet. I bet Jennifer and Kevin have. <laughs> I bet that. I bet you have. <laughs> John and Mandy. <laughs> oh dear. Beautiful. M M M. Sorry. R R U sixty one. A sensational citrine. Everybody's going to be getting a, getting the tassels out there and having a tickle. <laughs> I'll tell you. Make you smile. Six ninety five. <laughs> oh, I think it's nice. Um, you can make a good. My, nan, my nanny still always have a tickle stick. Do you have a tickle stick. I think it was a feather duster, if I remember correctly. I think it was. Uh, right then, my lovelies, we're going to mosey on to a break because we are approaching the last hour of the late show. Well, the last live hour of the late show. We do repeat it overnight, actually. Um, we have got in the next hour those aquamarines in the corner there. As a star by. <laughs> um, we've got like a bead scoop in good sized gemstones as well coming up for you. We've got another kit. We've got another demo with Gem. You're doing another demo, aren't you, darling? Indeed. Brilliant, fantastic. And uh, we're going to have lots more fun and giggles. So do please join us if you can for our last hour. Okay, see you in a minute. <laughs>
Our brand new Get Started with Jewelry Maker page has been created to provide help and guidance for jewelry making newbies. If you need design suggestions, hints and tips, or help with perfecting your jewelry designs, we're here to help. Head over to facebook.com slash get started with JM where our talented in-house designers are happy to answer your jewelry making questions, offer inspiration and get you started in your jewelry making journey. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Evening. Good evening. Evening all. How do? Evening all. Oh, Liz just coming saluted to it. Mm -hmm. um, it's the last uh, live hour of the late show, would you believe already? Just my seventh hour on today, straight. And I, it, it goes like that because I'm such a good time. It's still fresh as a daisy, babe. Oh, thanks. It's good deodorant. Um, I've got to show all oh my. What? They're amazing. Oh. I'm in love. Oh, as far as memory serves, it's my first time working with this particular variation, and it is heavenly. Look at oh, that. They wow, are wow. absolute pieces of art. Mm. That is artwork. Now, I don't know why, but it makes me think of Stonehenge, and I genuinely don't know why. No, it doesn't me. look like Priscilla Bluestone. No, no, me. But it just takes me to there. Okay. Do you know what, though? <laughs> That's the beauty of. Whatever you see is mm -hmm. what you see. Yeah. Nobody can tell you any different. Aren't they lovely? Becky? P. 
Penilith. I can never say that. Thank you. Because it all sounds like you've got a, like a speech impediment, <laughs> doesn't it? Penilith, Penilith Jasper. Penilith Jasper. It just makes you all sound as though you, you, know, you have got a speech impediment. There's nothing wrong with that whatsoever, but Penilith. I've just realised why. What? Because it makes me think of monolith. Oh, okay. Oh, that's why. That's then. why that's it takes me to why. Stonehenge. Okay. But it's usually yep. a logical yep. reason. So they are. Set. That's the first time I've ever seen these in the flesh. They're sensational. <laughs> they are glorious, aren't they? So interesting. Who said it's? Uh, somebody says it's called pinolith. Oh, okay. Apparently, we should be saying pinolith. Does this mean? Do you think it's American pinolith? I'm going to go pinolith. Sorry, I don't like that. Okay, so what's going to go perfect is black coloured rounded wire in point four. Yes, obvious. Mm -hmm. That is going to go rather deliscious with those. It does. It's beautiful, sumptuous colour. Then we're going to go to a complete contrast. Is one ready for the dark green one mil wire? Yes, yes. Boom! Green and black. Green and black goes lovely. They do indeed. And it's a dark forest green, which yes. is a lovely romanticised colour mm. description. It is. The, that is your uh, one mil. We're going to give you a whopping great big uh, 10 metres and then we're going to give you some wire mesh, which is a gorgeous colour. Absolutely beautiful. 10 yards. Is 10 yards about 9 point something metres? Because I'm a bit hopeless with the yardage. So there's 39 inches in a metre and 36 inches in a yard. Okay, so how much is that in metres? About 9 and a bit. 9 something, can it? Yeah. yeah. It's 10 yards, I think 9... 0.14 metres, okay, there you go, because I don't know about you, I'm hopeless with yards. 9.14 metres, there you go. So you get the mesh, you get the one mil, sorry, you get the one mil, you get the 0.4 mils, you got the wrapping, you got the structure, and then you got the pinolith. I love that shape there. It's absolutely glorious. Oh, lovely. So in my packs, I had a, sort of a rotund rectangle in both of them. Great. In the pack I've got in front of me right now, I've got a, a rotund rectangle, which I'm sure has an actual name, an oval and a drop. So you might get different yep. shapes, but they're all quite similar size. you will get three. Size. You will get three. Yeah. Okay, guaranteed. So the kit uh, code is DKXC60. First time I've seen the Pinolith Jasper in a kit. Um, with your wires, with your mesh, and we'll give you a discount saving on the Late Show before we go to a demo with a lovely gem of under 20. That's both, is that both kits on the Late Show tonight under 20? Wow, that's, a, that's impressive. Mm -hmm. The first kit, under 20. See, that for the Penalith Jasper alone, for mm. me, is Great. an absolute winner. Mm. Beautiful. So, yeah, I mean, if you're not a wire worker and you want to seed bead round them, then get in. Get in. <laughs> yeah. I actually quite like it with the green wire, and I never thought I'd say that. I like the green wire with that. It's impactful, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, like it. Really do. 19.95 for that kit. Now, Gem, what demo are you going to do for us, my lovely girl? The piece you were just looking at, actually. Ah, good. Which you can kind of use with any of the shapes that you might receive. Okay. Can we just have a look at the other pieces, though, that Gem's made, please? Because, yet again... She just, oh, oh, I like that. It's like a slinky's falling in love with a pinolith jasper. <laughs> I know I do. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I love that. Yes, love. I have. <laughs> that so Adam has rightly said that brilliant. I have demonstrated that particular design before. Okay. That it's is called gorgeous. The, the cycloid effect. Nice. When, when you go from point to point like that. That is nice. I do, actually, I really like this green wire. That's uh, the framework with the same kind of cycloid, but utilising the mesh, the Look, wire mesh. Oh, that is clever. And then one of the necklaces is made with plaited wire mesh and the other is made with crocheted wire mesh. Oh, wow. So you can see how very far that 9.1 something metres yeah, will go. Yeah, it does go a long way, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Right, we'll start the demo and then mm -hmm. we'll bring your treats in. All right, my lovelies, okay, Lots over to you, to bring sweet pea. Okay, so what I've done is I've preformed a little, it looks like an, an old TV. It does. <laughs> it 
It looks like an old TV with the uh, antenna aerials up above, but you can just basically draw the wire around the outside of your chosen form. I chose the sort of chubby rectangular one, but it will work in exactly the same way as it would on uh, the oval or on a round or on a teardrop such as we have in this selection here. So at the 12 o'clock position, I've created two upright bends utilising my bent chain nose pliers. Uh, and that just means that I can create a bale a bit later on if I want to do something okay, to great. sort of fancify it. Uh -huh. So I'm just going to pop these ones out of the way and remove my pin and lift jasper from the framework. The framework is quite tight, but uh, it will kind of open up as we start working. So I'm going to now work with my 0.4 millimeter gauge wire. I'm going to start by uh, utilizing probably about 16 to 18 inches of the wire. I'm just going to pass that behind the framework it's about halfway along the strand of wire and I'm going to draw it around the outside frame once, at least twice, just to bring that into position and tighten it up by hand. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go to the far side of the frame. So for me, because I'm right dominant, I'm just going to flip that upside down, take the tail of the wire and pass it through the framework, draw that through and just hold that into position. So I've double wrapped on both sides. If you prefer, you can take that for a third time around. I'll just use my fingers to bring that into position neatly uh, so that it will sit uh, quite tightly across the back, but not so tight that you then can't offer your cabochon into position. So at this stage, that will open up slightly if you've drawn it too tight for whatever reason. So now it's just a very, very simple design technique of randomly taking the tails of the wire that you've got at the moment, they're on either side, and just drawing them over the face of the gemstone. And it's such a beautiful gemstone, you really could play around with the shapes and forms that you find within the pin and lift jasper. So I'm just going to draw a corner with my 0.4 millimeter gauge wire, draw that up the center, pull that into position, whoops a daisy, that went slightly out of shape for me there. So you can make an, a, quite a, a sharp junction going over the back of the frame and then draw the tail up the middle and around and then take it so it crosses the back. So what you're basically doing is crossing the front once and then the back once with the same strand of wire and just push that gently down into position. I'm going to show you another couple of passes just to show you how you can do this quite randomly mm. and still generate quite an attractive design. Now if you want to chase out some of the patterns you find within you can. You can kind of add some shaping to that wire if you desire. Take the tail between the gemstone and the frame that you've created. Just allow that to snuggle up in between mm -hmm. and just support it whilst you draw that all the way through and then take that back across. Now you will need to do this a number of times and once you have done that a number of times you can do a shake test. Always shake over a soft protective surface like the beautiful macrame boards that we use here to demonstrate on. Um, and if once you have passed over, I would probably say about four times on the front, okay. flip it over and make sure that you've got all of your access points covered. So at present, I've got this band along the bottom which doesn't have anything to secure the gemstone from popping out in this direction. So I'll take that tail across the back. Yep push up between the gemstone and the cabochon frame, mm -hmm. pull that into position and across the front. So now you can see that that's pretty secure. I'm tied here, 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 here and here across the back. I don't think that's going to come out. Flip over onto the front. So I would go again, maybe from this point to this point and then possibly across this side. Once you have got your gemstone securely into position, I've got a nice long tail of 0.4 mil gauge wire at the back here. So I'm going to draw that around one side of the neck that I've created. And I'm going to do that three times on the one side, over the top of this one side, down the centre, and then up and around the other side three times. And this is what you would call a basic basket weave. And this secures the frame together and it also starts to generate a, a more decorative bale. So once you've woven for a reasonable amount of uh, distance up along those two mm. elongated uh, portions that come at the 12 o'clock hour, you can utilise your nylon jaws to generate a bale. So you would just spin that around the bale maker 
um, in a position that would give you a, a pleasing shape. And then just tie off by drawing around, whoops a daisy, let me just bring that tail over the top, over the top and tying that around. And you've then even got some of these tails that you can play with and draw over the yeah. face of the gem if you decide to. So it's a really good coverall design that you can utilise on pretty much any shape of cabochon that you might find in this kit. But also you can utilise it uh, to kind of go your own flow. You can really take it and, and make it something that appeals to you. Yeah. So that's got a, just a little coil coming down on one side. You could obviously utilise the coils anywhere or just have passes of the, the green wire over the front of the surface as well. Mm -hmm. So it's something that you can take, yeah. make completely your own, but it is a totally beginner's entry level right. friendly design. Brilliant. Fantastic. Thank you, sweetheart. You're very welcome. <laughs> Thank, Thank you us. so much. Thanks for well that. The studio <laughs> audience have gone mad. Aww. Look at that. Uh, well done, everybody. So do keep checking the kits out. I've got lots of goodies to come. I've even got the pebble. Should we do that now? What's a pebble? You not have the pebble? No, I need to know what a pebble oh, is. I need to take it out because I need to show you. the. This is so popular. Every time it comes on, it, it's bit in and out. So if you work with needles, you've got to get this. This is ace because it holds four needles. It's your pebble. It's a flip top pebble and it's so safe. It means that you can keep your assorted beading needles in there. It's really cool. It's really safe because I don't know about you. When you get, well, normally when you get a, a needle pack, it comes like this, doesn't it? It's got like this little plasticky bit and normally you have to break it like that, don't you? Well, once you've done that, it's open. It's, yes. You can't keep your needles safe and needles are sharp. They certainly are. So this is including four of the finest quality needles. You get four, you get two, uh, two of the 10 and two of the 12. So the 12 in the finer. Uh, it's called a pebble storage case. It's instantly visible, so you can see how many needles you've got in there. Really easy to, to store, and it's got a flip top case. So if I just, hang on a second. Come on, now why is that not flipping? Why are you not flipping? Why is it not flipping? If uh, sometimes the uh, plastic is a little bit tight the first one or two times that you use <laughs> it, so it may become easier. Do you want me to prise it open with it's a pair It's childproof. Of it probably is childproof. Is it because I've got hand cream on? Oh. It's because I'd loosened hand it. Hand cream. I'd loosened it. <laughs> you want to see me try and get the, the top off the a pill bottle or, you know, the, the bleach? I can't do it. <laughs> I'm chopped. I'll tell you what as well. I've never been able to open a child gate. Have you ever gone to a friend's They're house? Or that's got a I can't do them. Just step over. I do. I have to step <laughs> over. I can't do them. I'm hopeless, sorry. You, I, I obviously had a child gate when my son was little. He's now 15 and 6 foot 3, but whatever. Go to somebody else's house. If they've got a different child gate, I'm like, I'm just climbing over this. I just, I just don't even try that. Yeah. And when you try and see somebody, you see a mum put up a pushchair, and I'm like, how'd you do that? Do you know what? I was so rubbish. We used to have a big old Land Rover, and I, I couldn't collapse and put up the pushchair. <laughs> so I just used to whack it in the back <laughs> and yoink it out in one. This People is, were looking at me, why don't you fold it? This is, what, this is why I was never destined to be a parent. <laughs> Incapable. <laughs> I can't even get the flip top off a pebble. But they're great. Joking aside, they are great. They are absolutely brilliant. I think that's fab. Isn't that great? Look at that. Oh, ow. <laughs> so, now I did tell Deb Rudge off the other day. Because Deb Rudge had got needles stuck everywhere. She had. And we did have to say to her, Deb, you've got to get one of these, darling, because they're so... Because I had a friend that... No, okay, it wasn't a needle, but she stood on a cocktail stuck, stick at a party. She on crutches for six weeks. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, you do have to be careful. And, you know, if you think all of us that seed... Well, all of you that seed bead, all of you that shibori, mm -hmm. you know... Uh, 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 well, so anything you need. Whenever you need a needle, you need to have a safe storage for them. Mm-hmm. We need a needle. I like these. That's really lovely, and that can go into a pocket and a handbag, and you're not at any risk retrieving it, are you? No. Nope. It's nice and slim as well. So, you know, like you get those little zip compartments in your mm. tote bags and your jewellery maker bags and things, that just slides in. It's very unobtrusive. Mm. Oh. Unobtrusive. I'm thinking about uh, skinny jeans as well. Pardon? You can go in your skinny jeans pocket. Mm. We're going to the Black Pearl Puppet. Arr. We're back on pirates again, aren't we? Arr. Back on pirate. The back to the pirates. They've changed. It's not going to be um, 
What's his face anymore in the uh, Johnny Depp? He's not doing it anymore, is he? Is he not? Captain Jack. No, it's going to be somebody else. Hmm. I don't know how I feel about that. Yeah. Why well, do I think he's had his time doing it? It's very, very good Keith Richards impression. Yeah. FLGP84, these are lovely, aren't they? Hmm. Then what do you think? Oh, actually, no, I've just had a thought. I've just had a thought, Jim. That would be the perfect Wouldn't addition. Wouldn't it, though? Yeah, absolutely. Pinless. Yeah. Jasper. And those black girls. That's curls. it. That yes. is it. So if you got the kit, and I know a lot of you, lot of you did, trying to get hold of the uh, pin and lift Jasper, you go for the black pearls. They're only £6.95. That's absolutely incredible. Do you Again, know that's a substantial length strand, isn't it? Oops, they just fainted. <laughs> yeah, they're lovely. Can I just try those on and show you? £6.95. Amazing. I've been a bit obsessed with trying things on tonight. I've never had too many lovely things. <laughs> They're lovely. Six ninety five. Do you know as well? Sometimes we do like a blue black, but that's a black black. That's definitely a black black. A black, black yeah, it's a definite black black. Let me show you. Look, perfect for mm -hmm. that size of bracelet as well. Yeah. Spot on. Yeah. It's lovely. Six. I mean, I don't know, I'm never. I'm never going to get under. I'm never going to understand under ten pound pearls of any shape or size. Nope. Never. Especially when it's 38 centimetres. Mm, yeah. That's incredible. Now then, rough and tumble. Do you know, is this our first rough and tumble day? I don't remember We're seeing it We're all giggling at rough and tumble day. Especially since Jennifer and Kevin have messaged in. <laughs> I'm sure you can imagine. <laughs> Not that we can share it. I ordered these last week. I picked Did them up last week. Did you order these last week? Or what are you going to do with them now that you picked them up? I'm going to look at them for quite a long time because they are absolutely stunning. Amazing. We had a little mini showcase of slabs. Did and I you? bought the Shara White and these. They are glorious. You had Shara White slabs? Mm -hmm. I know, right? Sure. Mm -hmm. Sh and seriously? Yeah. Wow. I mean... But these are stunning. <laughs> the slabs and there's slabs and they are... Wow. For me, I tend to buy gemstones in cabochon form and I tend to like them to be at least 22 mil in length so oh, okay. that they're easier to work with and they're visible on the neckline. So each one of these is pretty much to my minimum size. And for a very long time, I've been trying to get hold of some nice citrine mm -hmm. in sizes large enough to become feature wire work pendants, which is one of my favourite things yep. to make. And there just weren't any, you couldn't find it. Nope. These are amazing. If you like wire work, as I obviously do, yep. uh, these are the perfect size to do your pendants with. They're incredible, aren't they? I love the bicones in between as well. They're cool. Oh, yep. Aren't they? Yep. Do you want an idea of the amount of slabs on this strand that I've got? Let me have a little counterama for you. Hang on a second, put them down. One, two, because they're massive. They're huge. Oh, hello. Lucky rainbow. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got ten. Wow. Yep. Yeah. Massive slabs. They are absolutely divine. Okay, huge citrines. Got to be the biggest strand. 580 carats. £18.45. Is that what you got them for? That's good, isn't it? Wow. Did we go that low for you? I think so. It was, it was either just under £20 or, mm. or that sort of region. That's fantastic. They're amazing. So that means each one of those is what? Eight, one, um... Sort of one pound, one eighty-five. Yeah, yeah, one pound eighty-five. And I was each. looking to pay uh, between eight and ten pounds. Really? And you went, you got them for one eighty-five yeah. each. Yeah. So wow. happy. That, I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. Incredibly happy, and they're lovely. They've got that Brazilian freshness. Happy. I like that song. Is that Pharrell Williams? Happy. Yes. Was, well, isn't it? It's a nice mm. song that. It is. I like that song. It's cheerful. It is cheerful. Makes you smile, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Happy, happy. <laughs> that was a good song though. So mm -hmm. it's a, it's on my playlist.
that is on my Spotify. Oh, one of my, one yeah. of my upbeat. Starts with Uptown Funk, then mm -hmm. it goes into Happy. Mm. 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 That's quite modern. For... Oh, that was harsh. Oh, that was I harsh. I don't know, because I don't think it was intended to be uh. a negative thing. I think it was a positive connotation. I don't. Yeah, but the person no. whom Becky mentioned, she obviously likes greatly. I think you might have actually just insulted Becky slightly there. <laughs> oh, wow. That's absolutely incredible. Isn't it? Now, if I remember, if I remember correctly... I'm sure, was it today or yesterday? What, do you know, it might have been today, it's been a while. I had some black fossil, was it today or yesterday? I had some massive black fossil cabochons drilled. Really? Big, huge ovals. I didn't see those. I think it was today, on the afternoon show, between three and six. No, I'm sure we did, you know. So if you go back to jewelrymaker.com today um, and have a little look on today's products, it was either today or yesterday. Oh, my word. That's amazing. Like a little chrysanthemum burst. Yeah. It's not an easy flower to say, is it, chrysanthemum? <laughs> say it again. Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum. Chris. Chris. Anne. Anne. Fee. Fee. Mum. Chrysanthemum. Chrysanthemum. Oh, there you go. Chrysanthemum. There you go. Black fossil jasper. Huge. 14. I love the way we split that. 14 mmm rounds. <laughs> That's what we should call it, shouldn't we? 14 mmm. Mmm. Yeah. They're amazing, <laughs> aren't they? Amazing. Amazing. Big carrot weight, of course, because you've got a 14 mil. I mean, we're going up into the uh, larger sizes of rounds. It is. It's huge. Mm. But everyone's fascinating, isn't it? Yes. Beautiful. You need to put those on again. Wow. That's proper Wilma. It territory. is, isn't it? Wilma! Especially with them being sort of fossil. Yeah. They are lush. So, we have been teasing you with that coming up box that everybody's been asking about, and they are moments away. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll tell you what we will do. We're not going to wait any longer, because we have had a number of you messaging in saying, hurry up with them, please. I want to go to bed. Bring it on. So, we will do that for you right now. It's your star bye. Hello, darlings. Hello, darlings. Wow. Yeah, wow. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah, wow. Oh, I've got a favourite. I've got a solid favourite. Can you guess which one it is? No, because they're all fab. They are all amazing. No, I can't, I can't even know. You're going to have to point them out to me. That little baby right there. Why that one? Don't know. Do I have to have a reason? They're all equally beautiful, but that one is really drawing me in. You know, um, oh, Tektite or, yep. or this, what's it called, the one that's in just the other side of Germany? The green one. Moldavite. Moldavite. Yeah, yeah. They have that sort of feel about them. Yep. They're not Tektite, obviously, uh, they're aquamarine, but it, oh, there's something really, really beautiful about them. Now, I'm just going to check. It says they're drilled. Now, I've got contact lenses in, so you might have to help me there. Can you see if you can find the drill hole on that one, please? It's all right, because I've got contact lenses in. You got it? Oh, well done. Brilliant. Now, there you go. That's what we love. Thank you, Jim. Sorry, you I can't see close-up like it's that with okay. contact lenses in. Now, that 
is cool. It is. Isn't it? You could just do a, a briolette just wrap. Just a simple briolette mm. wrap. Yeah, absolutely. Did you say briolette? I say briolette. How is it spelled? Well, I say briolette. Because mm. I like to go, ole. Ole. But perhaps it probably should be briolette. I just sound posher. Now, it was a bit like when Mark Smith went, mahogany. <laughs> Never let him forget it. <laughs> oh, I wish I'd known that before I saw him today. <laughs> He was brilliant. Honestly, the poor man, we've never let him live it down. In fact, every time we work with him, he's mahogany. <laughs> <laughs> and he still makes his giggle every time we see him. <laughs> I said, mahogany, Mark. He's like, will you leave me alone? <laughs> I did hear a lady in a bar once try to order a glass of claret. Oh, bless her. I know. Claret. You would think that, though, wouldn't well, you? Well, yeah, you would. Yeah. With ballet. Yeah. Aqua Marine. Can I show you that? I know I'm going to do it again, but it's just, I, I think this is, again, I, I do believe Mother Nature would be so knocked out if we wore uh, uh, gemstones like this. I think that's yeah. what she wanted. Huge glacial pieces of this month's birthstone. We've got a lot of our crew members here at, uh, that are March babies. A lot of them, actually, their birthday's coming up. IUVR59, 45 carats, they're all drilled. Aquamarine. There you go, look. No, I'm intrigued. I've not been told what price they're going to yet. Are you kidding? Oh, really? Oh, wow. Wow. That's now, something else. That is impressive. Gosh, you have surprised me there. Wow. I don't know, quite know what I was expecting, but I certainly wasn't expecting that. Were you, Jim? I really wasn't. I, I was thinking sort of 22 dollars 24 yeah. dollars maybe. They are good. Thank you for just stranding those for me. Well, it just gives you an idea of where the drill holes are. They're sort of more end yep. or, or top. They're great, aren't they? They have sumptuous colour. Yeah. Really, really lovely. Proper aquamarine, isn't it? Yeah. And it glistens, doesn't it, look? I do like that sort of rough nature oh, to I a do. gemstone. It looks so quirky, so contemporary, so cool. And again, suitable for any gender. Oh, exactly. Any gender. I'm not sure about that word. It's a funny word, gender. Don't it's a bit clunky. Yeah, clunky. Mm. I'll say, yeah, clunky. That's a good description, clunky. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, the lovely new man does make me, does make me smile because he's from Hinkley and they say cracker. He's on the phone to his dad today and all I could hear him say was cracker, smucker. I love the way they speak like that, cracker, mucker. I, I don't. I don't. Do you mean I don't, darling. I don't. I say don't, I don't say don't. I don't. <laughs> and it's funny when you listen to people's dialect and the way they speak. It's fascinating with accents, isn't it? I love accents. Got some really good friends from Bradford. Yeah. And another really good friend from yeah. South Yorkshire, Castle Connorsborough. Yeah. And when they all get together, the very subtle variations yeah, in I some of the things they say, it's amazing. Yeah, I love it. Because you think Yorkshire's Yorkshire. Well, it's not. No. It's very, very different. No, 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 no. No. Just love it. I love accents. Mm, love it. I'm no good at doing them. Though. Oh no, I try, but I'm hopeless. <laughs> 45 carats of aquamarine in those gigantuan sizes. Do I have an? Yes, I. Oh well, yes, I do. Moving on up. Moving on up. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, this is pr pretty. It's very pretty. Oh, this oh, is one of the lovely gorgeous. etching in the surround. I love our amber pendants. Oh, I gorgeous. really do. Great, great for gifts, aren't they? Absolutely spot on, yeah. Because people do love their amber. They do. And the quality of the silver work. Oh, it's in that amber. Look at the size of that. Can you see as well? Now, firstly, yeah, the silver work is amazing. We don't mm -hmm. even mention the silver weight because it's all about the amber. It's incredible. The attention to detail is outstanding. The real thought process and design goes into it. It's not just, oh, well, we'll just chuck a plain bezel around it. It's amazing. It's real, proper design. Beautiful. Uh -huh. 
big, huge piece of Baltic cognac amber. If you've got any of our sterling silver chains, they do work effortlessly together because it is sterling silver in all the surround of that glorious domed Baltic con cognac amber. I absolutely adore these pendants. I know that they come in sort of all sorts of different sizes and variations, but they really are the perfect frame. And I, I, I think of amber as art anyway. Oh, yeah. And art can be improved or it can be slightly softened by yeah. the impact of its frame. But to have that detail in the framework, it really enhances the beauty of the amber. And those inclusions are exactly what we want. The more inclusions, the more value the more intrigue, the more fascination, because you think that time capsule there that has locked those inclusions away, you know, your, your gas bubbles, your insects, your, and we had one of the pieces with the insects in on Amber Weekend, it's fantastic, you know, and then you've got uh, any sort of bark off the original uh, conifer trees, and you've got little animals and leaves and whatever it might be, and all of that captured in there and locked away, and you can't get your brain around a minimum of 44 million years, mm -hmm. especially when it goes anything up to 175 million years, and the chances are that it is a lot longer. We, can, we can't carbon date, but scientists have proven that actually it is a minimum of 44 million years. And I, what, you, sorry, say again? Yeah, the dinosaur, yeah, 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 there was, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, Look at that. And then seriously? we do that. Wow. That's a lovely size for a pair of earrings, so I, I'd definitely mm. be going for sort of three of them to make a pendant and earrings. Totally agree. Set. Or just you've got each. nice and lightweight as well, your amber. Amber is super light. Yep. Specific gravity is very, very low. Oh, so can it I does... just get rid of that nasty... Uh... Sorry. It doesn't look sorry. My hair's really morting at the moment. I do apologise. Now, Gem's just suggested <laughs> and, uh, as earrings, and they do work beautifully as earrings. I think so. Here we go. And they are super light, so yeah. they're comfortable That's to wear. That's a great thing. Yeah. There you go. Well, that's, tell you what, that's a really good size. You're going to get noticed in those if you had those as earrings. And it's a beautiful shape as well in terms Tis. of the, the, the chubbiness of the actual pair of the drop of amber. It's perfect to mm. wear at the ear. It's very complimentary, that. I mean, it's a shock at under 10, we know, but <laughs> there you go. Have you, seen, have you seen these you've got coming up as our star buy? Oh, my word. No, no. <gasps> oh, that labradorite on there is oh, no. crazy. Oops. I caught we'll him. We'll do that in a bit, in a bit, in a bit. For, in a, in oh, a can bit, I just play with it for a minute, Yes, then. that's what you... Say again, darling. They are fancy that. Fancy Jasper. <laughs> okay. Do you know what? We've got 30 left. It put the price in, please. Pop it in, whop it in, bop it in. There you go, £2.95. It's a shocker. That's why there's only less than 30 available. Let's hold it out. Let's show you all the colour. There you go. Scoot from one end to the other so you can see all the colours. There you go, look. Can you believe this? £2.95 for a whole strand of genuine 10 mil round fancy Jasper. The, can I just say, the loose multi gemstone faceted drilled bead assortment that we've got coming up, you could have that star by and this strand for less than £10 on the show tonight. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. No, seriously, I'm being absolutely truthful. Because it's in my contract. <laughs> SLP 020, 260 counts of 10 mil fancy Jasper rounds. £2.95. Which one? Oh, they're cute. Oh, they're cute. Three mil. We don't get a three mil very often, do we? You really don't, and they're no. perfect for using in your seed bead designs. Seed bead designs, channel sets, beady beads, single strand, double strand, triple strand, chokers, earrings, you name it. Three mil, because we normally go two or four or six. No, 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 three mil. Very pretty. LSD 86, natural red garnet. There we go. Lovely size. And again, because you've got that really deep red, it's going to make a big impact, isn't it? 
Now this is what this is what I want to show because I talk about this all the time. When I first started with working in garnet and I started with the macrame bracelet that Mark Smith taught me how to do, um, I automatically went for rose gold plated findings for garnet, and I ran out. Yeah. And all I got left was silver, and I thought, well, that's never going to work. Do you know, I absolutely love it. And now I will not put anything else in my garnet designs other than really? sterling silver or, or silver. Yeah, it does look amazing. It I does, love it. It opens a different yeah. door. Mm. Very, very bright and vibrant yeah. with silver. Quite romantic. Mm. and I love it. Love it. £4.95. Now, yes, I can. Apparently, Becky's just said to me, he's to sit with a fancy Jasper. Not a problem. No problem. That's beautiful. It's very autumnal, isn't it? <clears throat> And think of red leaves. There you go. Well, it's great, isn't it? Garnet and your fancy jasper. <laughs> LSTA86, you do need to think about. If you've got things in your basket, because I know we've got to that time of night where we're all getting a little bit more relaxed. We're probably in our PJs, dressing gown. We might be, I don't know, a little, uh, you know, little little sherbet, little uh, cheeky gin and tonic glass of vino or a cup of tea. And we're all relaxed. We're on the sofa. And we're watching telly in bed. And you leave things in your basket. We've all done it. Won't be the last time. And then we get up the next day and we think we've ordered. And we go back and it's there and you think, oh, you're kidding. And then the price has changed, hasn't it? Oh, it's gone. And oh, it's gone. Out. Yeah, I did that with some faceted blue topaz last week. I thought I'd have time to do it, and I went and did something else, and I came back, and it was well, gone. Why did you do that? Because I had a million things to do, and I should have prioritised my topaz over the oh, dog. Well, oh no, the dog's got to come first. Okay, my lovelies. Um, she's been lining up. She'll explain to us why in a moment. <laughs> it's an incredible deal, and it's your final live late show star by. Now, I've got to ask, why have, you, why have you done that? Because if that's a scoop that I would purchase, that's exactly what I would do. I'd see, are there pairs that I can utilise oh, okay. in earrings? Yep. Which of these pieces are going to go extraordinarily well with one another? So there is some... It's probably a sunstone. Yep. Yep. And I would want to put it with this gorgeous, gorgeous Amazonite because not only are they the same sort of size, but you've also got that chubby cube cut. Yep. So I've done this because I, I want to see what I've got. I want to have the fun of trying to identify the stones. Um, and we do have a wealth of knowledge on yep. our communities. Uh, so you can always ask somebody, perhaps on the Facebook page, if they think they can identify it, if you're sort of struggling to. Obviously, you can't really ever be 100% sure. But if you are brand new to jewellery making, it's a really nice, fun thing. And it's a great way to make friends as well. Exactly. There are some amazing gemstones in here. Yeah. And that would go so well with our 7 o'clock kit, wouldn't it? Wouldn't it just? Can I just pop these over yes, here? I'm just going to move do. them, my darlings. Because... You won't get your breath when you see the um, when you see the price point. That's that's the absolute. I mean, this is practically a giveaway. As Gem said, there you've got some little pairings, and you should hopefully get some pairings. Every single one of these loose beads will be drilled, which okay. is so helpful. Very very helpful indeed. As I was, we said, I mean, just look at this here. I've got that to show you this. Is a standout bead for me from this scoop. Absolutely incredible. What I love about these is the excitement because you've got a surprise. You don't know what you're going to get. And, and that's why I know a lot of you multi-buy, and I get that, and a lot of you multi-buying again this evening. Can anybody see the price yet? No. Okay, you, the price that you're all checking out at, at under £10, is not your final price. Okay, it really is not your final price. I have got the most beautiful labradorites in here. Yeah. I've got amazonite, I've got these beautiful pyrites, I've got some lemon quartz, I've got labradorite, sunstone, you name it, we've got it clear quartz. All drilled, every single one of them. Look at that. Look at that black spinel. It's incredible. Look Absolutely that. spot on. Yep, drilled again. Get a lovely choice. Really, really lovely choice. Gets your, gets your creative juices excited, doesn't it? 90 carats guaranteed, 
I mean, just to give you an idea here, I have got two, four, six, eight. Oh, no, it's quite hard to do it when it's like, hang on, let's just move it over here a bit. So, two, four, six, seven, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 20. I've got 32. I've got 32 glorious gemstones, faceted, drilled, smooth, clear quartz, amazonite. It's a lovely selection of choice. They are. And there's beautiful cubes in there as well. I love these cubes so very much. They're yeah, they're gorgeous. Right, aren't they? There you go. Look, cubes. The um, step cut labradorites are exceptional. Obviously, your bead scoops do vary with what you're going to receive, but it will give you an idea of the, the qualities of the gemstone material. It's in the price, love. I haven't. I was still whiffling away, and in my head it was $9.95. Nope. $5.95 on this. Now, the great news is... For the late show, whoops a daisy daisy, that just fell out my pocket. Oh dear, now I can't hear anybody. <laughs> Hang on a second. Talk to much yourselves <laughs> while I get me uh... do, 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 do. Oh, there we go, got you back. Sorry! <laughs> They've just pretended. <laughs> what are we talking about? No, that's fine, it's fine, it's fine. They're being cheeky. So every single one could be made into a charm. Many of them could be paired up for earrings. They'd make the most perfect jumble bracelet. You could even make a bubble style bracelet with these, put them all on sterling silver head pins and wind them in in the center. You could pad it out if you wanted to with mm -hmm. some. We had a strand of pearls earlier on which were a bit more nuggety pearls. So you could have sort of three or four pearls and then a gemstone. Yep. There's lots of ways in which you can use these, but they are really, really beautiful qualities. Well, they're going off to California, eh? They're off all over the UK. They go in twos and threes. Rowena's had two, Tina's had two, Anita's had five, Denise's had two, Clarissa's had two. Uh, Someone else has just put, come in and got three. Well done. Well done. Now, what did I count? Did I count 32? I think you said 32. Can we divide that by 32, please? Just, just give an idea, roughly. Right, you see these? Do you, think, you see these here? These beautiful gems. Mm -hmm. Drilled, faceted. Did you just say, did she say, she did, 19, 19, one nine pence, oh my. So that's a really lovely kind of pick and mix, isn't it? Oh yeah, who didn't love pick and mix? <laughs> oh, if only we still had the Woolworths. <laughs> who didn't love a pick and mix at Woolworths? Hey, what a great shot, what a shame Woolworths went, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, love, loved, loved Woolworths. Um, right then, Barbara, Victoria, Kim, Linda, Janine. Oh, gosh, and the list goes on. Wendy, Babs, MC, oh, my word. That is a great, great deal. Great deal. But there's so many, I mean, there's, look. It's gorgeous, isn't it? <laughs> there's so many treats in there. 5.95, 19p gemstone on here. That is just, I mean, that clear quartz there. It's in outstanding isn't, isn't that good look at that let me just show you i mean that just one of those added in to a design would look good look at that i'd actually be doing that with the black spinel one that we've got we've got that and a black spinel there's a, a, a lovely pair of black spinel actually you could sandwich it in the middle of one of our slider yeah, bracelets you could let's just do that like that or those three in the center of the black pearl bracelet mm -hmm. we had that would look under 10 pounds yeah. didn't we so. incredible yeah mm. brilliant very nice. Great deal, that, sweetheart. Thank you. And all of those would work in that mm. ring design, every single one oh, of them. Oh, yeah. Do you want to show that, lovely? Mm. There you go. Sorry, say again. Oh, can I borrow the bus back, please? Could I borrow the bus? Could sure, I borrow the one. bus? Oh, that would be very kind of you. Thank you. It's all right. It's the right sort of size, isn't it? Mm. Yeah, that'd be great. We have got this. Now, this has proven very, very popular on the show this evening because this strand half a meter no less of these huge sizes of tumbles in our rough and tumble day we've got amethyst we've got citrine we've got smoky quartz we've got rose quartz and it goes back to amethyst citrine and your smoky quartz again and i was saying to Gem earlier and saying to the team isn't it wonderful that we've actually put so much thought and consideration into how we've stranded that mm -hmm. 
It's beautifully put together. It yeah, really is. Lovely. I would never have thought to have put that together in that. If I'd have, like I said earlier, if I'd have had a scoop of gemstones like that, that just isn't something I would have created, and I love it. So that gives you ideas, doesn't it? it gives you creativity ideas. Massive carrot weight. You don't have to do it like that if you don't. You can separate them all out. You could alternate them. You could you could do whatever you fancy. Rosary link. Mm -hmm. Really I mean, make that go a lot further. You absolutely can, or just add some spacer beads yeah. in. Yeah. Nine ninety five. I mean, really. Really? <laughs> Nine ninety. Was that a funny face? Did I pull a funny face then? Look at that. Lovely side profile. And that's what you get when you've got those lovely different sizes. Great, great, yes. great side profile. Do you want to show that ring that you've made, Jen? Because we haven't shown it yet, have we, darling? No, that was with, with the Neon Appetite from the triple. Was it must have? Today's must have. Today's must have. Yeah. So that was made with one of the neon appetites from the triple. We'll show you that in a moment. But the faceted drilled gem scoop that we just showed a moment ago... That would work as well. ...would be perfect for yeah. this. Uh, but equally, the nuggets on yep. the strand that we're looking at right now, you could sort of size the you ring could, design up. Of course up you could, yeah. It would look really, really mm -hmm. sumptuous, actually. That yeah, is lovely. just incredible, isn't it? Everybody's in shock at this. I've got one, two, three, four sections of your amethyst. The fact that they're all from the same family and then you, mm. these gi just gigantic smoky quartz, which are adorable. Then you're going into the citrine. If I turn that around there, look. So your smoky quartz, your citrine, your amethyst, your rose quartz, your smoky quartz, your citrine, your amethyst, and then it goes on. That is, I can just show you there, look. Probably struggle wow. to get in the camera shot. It's half a metre. Half a metre, look. Can you see it all from <laughs> there you go? Because it looks impressive on the bus, but when you actually lie out half a metre of that size of gemstones that equates to 320 carats, gives you some s bit more s idea of the size and scope yeah. of that strand. Super. For a tenner. That is. That's good going. Now, this, this, this ring that Jem's talking about was made out of our today's must-have. Everybody's been raving about mm. these. They're gorgeous. They're actually, we've taken them to five ninety nine a piece. I have now. You know, we just had that conversation about baskets. Over forty have been left in people's baskets. If you don't check out, somebody else will take them. That's five ninety nine. So Sarah, Collector, Rita, Stephanie, Madeline, Cheryl, Lynn, Amanda, Collector in Florida, Cheryl in Maine, Collector in Suffolk, Vis Laura, Collector Lynn, Collector in Merseyside in Staffordshire. Oh my word. Now you've got these magnificent, there is no other word for it, magnificent, full on splendor of those neon appetites. Then we've gone for the, just going to show you this one here as well on its own. In fact, we'll go with the Peridot next for you. Bold peridot, bright peridot, beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. It is, really isn't it? Vibrant, isn't yep. it? Again, five ninety nine because the whole bundle of three seventeen ninety five, and then I've got the sky blue. Here we go. Look. <clears throat> Excuse me. Look at that. Ruby, emerald and sapphire in nuggets is the question there, Lucy. Like these, but in ruby, emerald and sapphire. That's what it's all right. It's all right, we've got just a few of the second part of the deal of the day. The first part of the deal of the day with the chrome upside sold out this morning and we just have a few left of the ruby, emerald and sapphire. All natural, coming up. Seventeen ninety five. I'll show you them all together, shall I? So you can see what you're getting all in one go. Don't forget to check out my lovelies, will you? My goodness me, your stomach's having a field day, Jim. Yeah, sorry. Are you all right? Yeah. Are you hungry? Yeah. We, um, it's got to that time of night where we're all a little bit peckish. <laughs> so there you go. Five and oh, thank you, Luce. Thank you, Lucy. She just bought the uh, last part of the deal of the day that is miraculously still available. Five ninety nine a strand. Okay. Would you like to see the, la the deal of the day? Thank you, sweet pea. These are all natural. 
I'm going to start with the Burmese ruby. Whoa. No less. Okay, we are down to our last few. All right. Those are your Burmese ruby. We have got your sapphire. Now, can I just mention as well, these are all natural. That strength of colour is totally natural. No heat treatment whatsoever, okay? Huge. I know. And then we have emerald. Three of the big five gemstones. Your sapphire, your ruby, your emerald, and they are all natural. The price point has wowed everybody today. That's impressive. I know. That deal of the day is super. Now, we started with a really good number, and that's the only reason there's any, any kind of availability left on the Late Show. £6.65 each for those. Wow. I know. It's brilliant. You'd kind of expect to pay that for maybe, maybe that, just, little, that little sapphire yeah, there. Yeah, it's just ridiculous. I love the strength of colour. I love the saturation. I love everything about these. And the price point is just an absolute Brucey bonus, isn't it? It is. It really Incredible. is. So 25 carats of your emerald, 25 carats of your gorgeous blue sapphire, and 20 carats of those natural Burmese ruby. For not £6.65, it's just wow. superb, isn't it? And Absolutely the, superb. And the great thing is, everybody pays the same low price. Doesn't matter at what point you check out. Every time we take a price down to its lowest point, and we've done a lot of lowest ever prices on the uh, show tonight, you will all pay the final price. Nobody gets overcharged. Nobody. Guess where that sapphire's from? Where? Madagascar. Mm-hmm. Well, we've been raving about Madagascar we for have. location for gemstones this evening. That's absolutely spectacular. Yeah. It's not something you see every day, is no. it? No. Not in that glorious tone of colour when that's natural. I mean, that is impressive. If they were, those were heat treated on the sapphires and the rubies, I think, fair enough. But, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Makes you wonder why, we, you know, why, why humans even think about heat treating when you can get that kind of quality. Naturally. Superb. <laughs> JPVX52. Do you know, we, what happens now is we go to a repeat of the morning show, then the mid-show, then the late show, and then tomorrow morning at 8am, we have got the most magnificent trade show for you. Oh, yeah. Anila, thank you for great deals, JM. Great show, ladies. Round of applause for us all. Um, yeah. Thanks, and, and you. Thank you. Thanks and you, Anila. International Women's Day. Woo! Thanks for your company. You're <laughs> lovely, you are. <laughs> you are. And thank you for the offer of getting the fish and chips. I could stop saying fish and chips. I could just eat fish and <laughs> chips now. Yeah, that big old it salad I had open. about half eleven. That's, mm. that's history. Mm. Oh, I'm not going to Studley now. Oh, no. <laughs> no. It's a good chip shop. I'm sure it is a good chip shop. I don't want to go. I want to go to bed. <laughs> Are you on the morning? No, I've actually got the day off tomorrow. Ooh. Well, I think, unless anybody else is ill tomorrow. <laughs> you know, I'm hoping, I'm hoping we've got a full, full compliment tomorrow, and I'm not, don't take this the wrong way, but I just fancy a day off of doing mm. nothing. Do you know, you know, you need it. You need that recharge your battery Absolutely. day, don't you? Yeah. I need that tomorrow. Yeah. I'm going to have one of those next week. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, have a little duvet day. Well, up at six for the kid and the dogs anyway, oh. every day. No. But... Yeah, I'll go back to the sofa after. Yeah, like, uh, yeah, it's nice. And um, right, my team are the best. You are, you are brilliant team. They are, aren't they brilliant? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Leah, Lucy, Becky. Uh, she's coming for a bow. You can take a bow, Lucy, if you want. It's not what I came in for. No, no, but it was fine. Okay. Yeah. And there's that. Go on, take a bow. Take a curtsy. No, she's like, no. Hey. Oh, oh nice say. curtsy. Oh. Impressed. It was almost a plie. It was. Um, um, but most of all, most of all, we love you. <laughs> we do. We do. We think you're lovely. And it's nice to know we've had some, um, you know, like Mandy's husband watching for the first time, John. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and Jennifer and Kevin. Yeah, yes, yeah, saucy ones. Join me if you can on the late show on Sunday. <laughs>